How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome. We'll be starting things off shortly. Uh, this event is hosted by Sarah, but I am Bojack, joined by Shy Yoshi Guy. Hello, what's up, everybody? Should be good. Excited to see it. We have a. It's like nine players out for this event right now. It's the first time I've seen nope. a good chunk of the EU players in person, so it'll be fun to watch. There were ten play. There were eleven players at one point, but that's too bad. FX yeah. uh, couldn't couldn't get couldn't get here in time. Apparently, he was one of the guys from the the EU side of things that could really you know change up something. His, his team really, really was pretty pretty dangerous, but guess we don't get to see that. That's kind of sad. ah. There's always next time. Yes, and he was here last tourney as well, so that was nice. Let me right. pull up the bracket. Just to see what we've got going on. Oh, oh yeah, so we got Zach C, we got Toroi, we've got Wakondo. With all the big names. Yeah, well, not all of be... them, but... Yeah, this should be fun to see. I kind of, I'm excited to see Wakondo play, because Wakondo's a fellow Asriel player. Should be playing the Asriel heart if last... Unless they've uh, swapped off they, of they, it, but... No, 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 he doesn't swap out of that team. That Good. Never happens. He's... he's... He's the the man who's been carrying NA on its back from the last <laughs> couple of ones, for uh, the, the last couple of class region ones. So Wakondo's expect really big good. things from the man. Yeah, Wakondo does have a, a good chunk of teams. I know the main one is the Azrael Heart. I just know every time we've talked about Azrael Heart, it's like, oh yeah, it's good. It has this and that going on, and then it's like, oh, but you could be playing Azrael Adachi. Oh, <laughs> is that actually better? It, it's Azrael's best team by far. Uh, oh, that yeah. team is cracked. <laughs> Garuzan I... and I have been messing with that team for since the game uh, hit that 2.0 stride. I didn't even know. I've never seen anybody play Azrael Adachi before. Oh, it's mad good. Damn. Yeah, I mean, they're both pretty high up the tier list, so it would make sense. But I don't know. Like, do they have really, really good synergy or... Oh, it's, it's, yeah, the, if, uh, that team is, like, before it was Azra Gordo, but that team had, was very good, but it had a lot of holes and, like, matchups and stuff like that, and also as Gordo progressively got nerfed, it kind of got worse, and then Adachi shows up, and it's like, hey, I did what Azra Gordo did, but better, <laughs> and also, I have Adachi on my team. Yeah, no, I get, I get you, Okando, it's, um, uh, it's truly like if you don't like playing Adachi, then you should not play the team because that team is really heavily, like heavily influenced by Adachi. But I mean, you make Azrael Heart work, and there's plenty of other teams that you make work. So keep doing what you do. It's fun to watch. Yeah, right. His yeah, he's been doing extremely well. I'm pretty sure he already won one of these before. Oh, base. Yeah. Uh, he is, he's where is the passcode for the room? Oh, it's uh, ATC1, if I'm correct, but uh, gotcha. Sefi should be uh, telling us. Oh, yeah, he told it in the callouts. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> it's a little <laughs> hard to find this stuff sometimes. I mean, yeah, that's just that's just the Discord for you. It's not <laughs> big. All right. Looks like the first one. We scroll down because it should be. I assume we'll have all this stuff in callouts. Yes. Well, much okay. Cool. Uh, should be uh, Zach CC versus. Oh no, Floor Storm versus uh, Feroxy Louise. Hi. So Feroxy Louise, I will. If I remember correctly, they are a Midwest player rocking the. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's uh, is this player? They they play Ragna uh, Seth. I remember. I met them at one Frosty Faustings. It's like Frogna Seth, Rogna Jid. They, they're a Rogna sip. Quite literally at a their Frosty <laughs> Faustings pool. They had the picture from like the CF story with Rogna's like just looking back, just framed on a, you know, like on a picture frame on the PS4. And I, I lost my mind seeing that. <laughs> oh my God. I guess this guy loves Rogna, doesn't he? Yeah, they're 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 a Ragna lover. 
Uh, I'm not very familiar with Flora's Storm, however. Oh, I have seen them a bunch of times. However, uh, he's very much a beginner from what I've seen so far. He's played a lot in these tournaments, however, not a lot casually. As you can see, he's yet to get a win. In, in <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see what he does. I don't know. Maybe he's I know. out, but yeah, I, 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 I did. I didn't hope there was like an alternate account or anything, or like, oh, they're usually like a PS4 player and things like that. But it should be fun to see. I do like this team though. Nine Mai. I'm not sure exactly how like all of it will play out, but I imagine the there's there's probably a good chunk of synergy to be had there, along with like the, the nine six P to back up and neutral. My five P for nines like just general aerial game is pretty nice. Oh, start off good there. Didn't really convert off that though. Crimson Raider recognizing the minus frames goes for the overhead, cashing out for a little bit of damage. Oh, nice oh. jump cancel and wakes the burst whiff. Going back into it, gonna get that GC and get the full knockdown. Oh, unfortunate drop, but hey, 6P gonna cover up the loss. Oh, yeah, Flora Storm, just a little unfamiliar here, perhaps. Oh, good burst yeah. there, though, maybe. Maybe yeah, the Knight can do a lot of the work. Let's see it. Yeah, very good burst. Recognizing that it is time to DP on for Louise now. Gonna get the full combo here. Call the assist just to make sure the pickup is clean. Oh, oh no, but unfortunate drop on the super. I mean, that would be a very big deal in any other case, but I don't think here it will matter too much. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely the lead right now is kind of just oh, looking good. Ooh, this is nice look at a DP. Let's go. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> oh! Wait. Very, yeah, it was very good opportunity, but definitely you can see the like the new player uh, rust kind of being put in. Right, you you get the big opportunity. They're like, oh wait, what was my combo again? And then panic. You do two buttons, and then you you die. Yeah, it was very oh. one sided. Froxy, definitely someone that still needs to work on some things. I saw him drop a couple combos here and there, but in this case, it did not really matter. Uh, yeah, yeah, the def game locked down. Basically, yeah, there, so. Froxy definitely is like dropping a couple of things here, or there, but generally you could just see where like there's like the I've played a minute, I've I've played a good bit, but like you can see where like there's the familiarity and stuff, but there's like it's not the it's not optimized yet or anything, which is like a point that every player get has, and then you just overcome as time progresses. But uh, <laughs> and I mean that's where we'll see for Storm at at some point, but at least as it currently stands, that they they just. They're getting into the game, and it's always good to see a new player coming into a game, especially like BB Tag that's been out for a minute. So, you know, always good to see some new players coming out and supporting the, the community with all these different great events. Right. I feel like Flora Storm really needs to, to, to get get the lab going a little bit with these characters. We haven't really seen much, but... Yeah, just the, the homework is, it does need to, to happen. Yeah. Calls the assist, but it's going to be a little too late to get any really sort of pick up off of it. Nice delay burst to okay. catch the two-way. Oh, is that an actual overhead? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, <it's not> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he was gonna get, oh wait. Yeah, no, the, the... Oh, oh, but yeah, that two-way into super doesn't work in the, the yellow timer. All right, nice use of the 5B just to get something going. And yeah, catch the teleports with that nice 5A. Forest Storm already on very low health. That's gonna well regen yeah. what little health he was missing already. Yeah, once again going for the the same route, but this time oh, around Forest Storm was not holding the buttons to tech. Does get the the blue from it. Opsta burst here is gonna be a little minus. I'm pretty sure got caught blocking uh, high again. And oh, oh unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, nice block again! He's good at those. Ooh! Yeah. Well, well, it's a it's a tale as old as time at this point. It's happened in, in both the games. Oh, unfortunate call and the happy birthday to kill. Oh, yeah, you, it, it, sh it happened. It happened the first game, happened the second game, where you're going to have, like, Floor Storm, like, blocked the DP at the right time, made the right read, and then was like, oh, cool. Like, this is going to be great. I'm going to, you know, punish them for, for all their money, and then... It presses 2C, gets one hit, and then dies. Yeah. So it's just... <laughs> that, that's basically what, yes, that is just what happens when Forest Storm gets the opportunity. He just kind of hits a couple buttons and, well, that's that. 
Yeah, so, and I mean that's that's just gonna come down with uh as time progresses, like the you'll get more into the like how to punish and how like the the more like whenever when you're first starting, what you really a lot of players want to do is they just want to get in, they want to like start playing, and they want to just start doing stuff, which is admirable. Um, but then like once you like have kind of got like okay, I like how this character feels, I like how that character feels, we'll make a team out of them. That's when you start practicing. They'll like getting all the lab work done and getting the combos down. Because like you, you can kind of see it in these two players. The one on the you know four storm new player does like has a feel like I like these characters. Let's make them work. And then you can see Froxy's like I like these characters. I'm starting to make them work, but there's still some work to be had. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's really? basically a perfect summary of these two right now. That burst. I mean, it was technically good, but kind of missed. Here we go. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, and I like that setup. A really nice call out by Proxy. Just gonna be able to go for the the Ooh. super get something going. Oh, nice. Five A's using the two C just to space themselves out and keep them safe. Counter hit. The burst is there, but no assist to punish. Hell's Fang. No pickup, unfortunately. Oh, here we go. Happy birthday. Oh no, nope. Every time <laughs> yeah, you gonna... see something great from Flora Storm, it's only for a little bit. Those yeah, I mean, that's, that's just how it goes. That's the way the cook crumbles. Oh, but unfortunately, no, no no conversion there in managing to get the medium just like that. Proxy will be moving on. Yeah, no, that was, that, like, I'll take, like, everything being said, that was a fun set. Like, Four Storm definitely, like, thanks for coming out. To, for that, you still have the loser side to kind of make that comeback and kind of get more situated with like the tournament style and where it, and Proxy will be moving on in the winner side. I do believe they will be playing the winner of... Oh, they're going to be playing Tomoe. That's going to be... Oh, that's... Uh, that, <laughs> that's yeah, that, great. that's a rough uh, matchup right there. Tomoe is a very good player. He is, yeah. I actually haven't seen too much of Tomoe, but I think this tourney will see a lot of the man. Like, Oh, yeah. He's going to be everywhere. He's going to... He's. I, I think he's going for Grand Fight. I, I, he's going for the W right here. I mean, out of everyone, yeah, I, mean, I, I I guess Sack also have a, has a pretty good chance. But besides that... Yeah, I think we're going to be seeing... Like, granted, I don't, I'm don't. i not super familiar with all these names, so forgive me. But I will say that off-rip, I know Tomoe, I know Zexy, I know Wakando. And though... I mean, granted, they're the top three seeds, but I think those are going to be the ones that are seeing the most of and i'm excited to see them as they uh happen honestly so we'll see because i again like i'm familiar with toboy i also don't get to see them play all that much so this is always fun and it looks like we're going to be having chi versus uh tyria 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 i i'm not sure it's something like that yeah <laughs> just <laughs> say whatever we feel like i guess yeah, uh this is a NA only match, I think. There's no EU here. Yeah, I do see a two bar, so I could confirm that uh that at least whichever player this is for the Steam name. Yeah, not... Why this is not uh, who is Kasane Tito something it, too long yeah. to read. <laughs> it's a two hundred word essay, I can't read the entire thing. But uh, I mean at least looking at the team, if they're sticking with this, this team's uh pretty pretty cracked. Uh Akatsuki Kuragane has a lot of cool synergies going on. It's got a lot of just really strong pressure. Oh, he, I think he switched out to the Katsuki here. Yeah, with yeah, the Akatsuki Kuragane. This will be... If this team stays, this is going to be a really good showing. Because Katerine also plays this team and is really proficient with it. Um, yeah. So I'm serious, curious to see what their spin on the, the team is. But we're all waiting for the other player. Um, should be fun. I'm curious to see how this all plays out. I'm honestly wondering which one of the two this is. Yeah, that that is the biggest mix up at this point because <laughs> that Steam name is not matching up with anything right now. So like, I'm trying. I I need the other player to come in with the to clear the mix up because wow. right now I'm in the blender. Who is this man? I've 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 never seen a Katsuki. No. Oh, the Wakado clarified that's Tyria. Oh, that's Stereo. Okay, so Chi still has to get here. I imagine the Chi is playing the the Ruby Weiss, right? I mean, that that's basically his whole uh, Discord profile. So, 
Oh, that that if yeah, if you're rocket that you are if you're yeah, yeah okay, uh, there it is. Yeah, I mean, I just uh, imagine. I've never actually seen the man play, so this will be interesting. But I just imagine that's the team you'll be running this time. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna have that as like, if you're gonna have characters on your like fighting characters in your profile for like Discord or whatever things like that, then you you have to run them. That's just the law of the land. I feel it's the it's the law of nature. Yeah, but I will say though, Ruby Weiss is a is actually a pretty decent team. It has a. Uh, I don't remember the player's name from Japan that was rocking it for a long time, but definitely showed that that team is quite proficient, and there's a lot of unique synergies to be had. So we'll see how that works out versus the Kuragane Akatsuki. Hey, I've never seen either of those, so this will be interesting for me. Yeah, this is a... Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen Ruby Weiss played, but Caterin, uh makes me fear this team, so we'll see. How this works. Oh. The round start parry, hey, eh? that's that's one way to start it. <laughs> I mean he, he knew he was going for the six A, eh? so right, this makes sense. Yeah, here we go. Just gonna be able to get the, the loop started. The oh. six P Ooh, no, nice parry. How does that not work? He caught the counter too, but wasn't able to punish somehow. Oh there we go! Nice switch too. Putting the Weiss now now getting all that health back, that's good. Yeah, just recognizing. I uh, didn't want to deal with the Oki situation afterwards. I'm opting for that burst and uh, be able to get the full combo here. I would try to get something fancy going, but it looks like they were trying to go for some sort of like air dash uh, oh my. chase, but didn't really work out. Nice air to air, gonna be able to get into the corner. And the wake up super? Yeah, it's no, Ruby no. 5, eh, baby? Kind of surprised he didn't go for the punish, but perhaps that's not what you should do there. Oh, nice, use nice. CC. let's go. I think he's dead. Is he dead? Yeah, 100%. Uh, yeah. With double super, it's double single target. Should be doing like 7.8. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, there correction. we go. Yeah, very good stuff right now for the side of Chi. That was a really nice setup for the, the cross combo, just to get that mix up going and for all that damage. But now, not out of it yet. Akatsuki is a very strong solo character in, in a lot of situations, but if you are getting oh. mixed, like, <laughs> from Chi, no, then you are yeah. going to be out of here. Yeah, you're very correct that Akatsuki can do a lot solo, but he needs to get that hit. He needs to get that, you know, meter spent. Otherwise, you know, this is going to happen. Yeah, like, cross cut. Well, in Residence Blaze, you get all that bar. And especially with Akatsuki, you have such good ways of dumping meter for good chunks of damage. But, like, that don't matter if you're just getting mixed, if you're just getting hit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Akatsuki's a really good character for damage in Residence, but if you don't actually get the hit, well, it's not gonna go anywhere, that meter. It's gonna stay mm. there as you die. Yeah, you'll have nine bars all 15 seconds of their combo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, let's see if we can switch it up here, mix it up, perhaps. Oh, nope, he does get hit by... He doesn't go for the, the DP on the start anymore. No, I think he was trying to see what... Uh, if uh, Chi would adapt and try to, like, call it out of some way, but Chi adamant and saying, yeah, I'm just gonna keep using my Weiss 5A, a very strong round start option. Gonna be able to get a little bit of a happy birthday on the door guard. They open up with the low, some more pressure coming. Oh, here we go. No, not quite. Not oh, the four-piece collide. Oh, dude, that's two broke four-piece colliding. Nice burst of Oh feet. my god. <laughs> no. This guy is too good. Yeah, straight into the corner, too. Oh, nice, nice grab, actually. Throw. Here we go. This could be big. No! We... <laughs> Coming in, curse. Yeah. Oh, nice oh, 5B. And, hey, we'll just catch up for the super. That's going to be a dud. Why still has the mountain to climb that is the full health ruby. But if there's a character that can make that combat, it is Akatsuki. Using the parry to get those plus frames on the incoming oh, no. the throw. That's it. Yeah, this should be it as long as uh, she keeps it simple. And you'll uh, be able to get the, the normal routing. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I was... That like, was... <laughs> you know, I've played Ruby a lot. I was like, what is he doing? This is not... You can't convert into this, but... I, th I feel like he he wasn't able to do it, but he just yeah, messed up at the end. Yeah, it was a, it was a mess up at the end, because I'm pretty sure at the end it's like 2C... Gun blast, or it's 2C Fireball Gun Blast Super, or something along those lines. Yeah. yeah. Um, but 
just, you know, like I was saying, you gotta keep it simple because sometimes you're in tournament, it's just gonna choke a little bit. The quarter circle didn't fully finish, so nothing came out, and you just whiff a 5A for the meaty. But, I mean, hey, still in the lead, still managed to, to come back with it, so we'll see how it goes. Like, that was just very convincing on the side Wait, of the Wait, With the Hakuman Naoto. That is a team I've not seen in a long time. Oh my goodness! Who's the? Oh, I'm I'm blank. It's been a minute since I've uh, since I've seen it. Who's the? Who was the Japanese player that ran this team? They were like one of the best in Japan. I'm losing my mind. I, I cannot remember the name. Oh wait a minute. Oh, got the happy birthday, but then no uh no real fallout from it. The four P does connect. Twenty four bond. That's the name. Thank you, Wakondo. Yeah, this team is cracked. Alright, but in like just off of maybe it's just the, the switch for for the confidence now, but able to get something started against Chi. Ooh, that does actually go up, oh my god. Yeah, try to get something going, but try to sway past this all oh, the Ruby 5 be gonna mess with the situation. Was it covered with it? Missing the Rekkas! Plus frames, push block. The, the behind frame saved uh, Terry, or no, saved Chi there, otherwise the Hakuman assist would have gone through. Yeah. Able to and block in time. And now the Oh, good DP! Nice react. Again, oh, he does actually punish it this time. That's a dead wise, here we go, the comeback! Yeah, here we go, alright. Yeah, nice! Oh, punish, let's go! Very Terry, nice. Yeah, just able, like, off of a slobber knocker able to, to find his footing with the, the Karagane saying, you know what, actually, the problem last game, last two games was I was playing too much Akatsuki. I need to be <laughs> running the Karagane and I need this, the Hakuman assists. Exactly. That was the, the right switch at the right time. I, I feel like he should have played this team from the get-go, but then again, I don't know, uh, you know, how much difference it's, it actually makes, so. Yeah, it's definitely a thing of, like, it's like the shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? Like, shoulda ran the team from the start, but like, would they have uh, would have worked the same way as it is right now? Right. Really nice, nice adaptation. Just saying, I could backdash the round start from the Weiss five A. Right. Still, I, I feel like I feel like he ran the Katsuki to you know, feel him out a bit, and now he's like fully comfortable, so he's running the the Hakuman. Yeah. But then again, he's well. already yeah. This oh god. Land cancels. Yeah, and she got it, and oh this is gonna good. be good. God. Oh, did it got off? Yeah, oh, did it have the bar entirely there for the cross combo potentially? Oh my! But... Oh, you're still Flash. calling Kurogane? Oh, what a what a bait in the DP. He's dead. Very dead. Oh wait, no, the drop. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and now, oh, Divine Masher. This is gonna be a good <laughs> shook of damage. Oh my God. He could, he could still turn it around, I guess? Is this free meat on the board? No! To trigger happy on the super! Oh my ah, god. It the caught up backing. That was a good, uh, that was, like, I liked that from both sides. Um, Chi just able to consistently pressure using the, the 6P run up 5A. Um, the other side, the Corgani just push blocking away, and then just again and again, the situation kept repeating itself, but that time it was too close. To uh, it was to, the Weiss was too close, able to get that 5A as you're trying to up back out, just like that. She will be moving on over Tyria and will be fighting Tomoe. Um, uh, the story so far that we've had of the stream where it looks like Tomoe did beat a uh, Froxy 3 0 and uh, is sitting nice and comfy in that lose the winner's quarters. Uh, Zach C will be waiting for the winner of this next match I do believe we're gonna be having on stream which is Wakanda versus that. Cinnamon Spice this is a this is a match I've seen previously in uh, another one of these cross regionals however maybe Cinnamon Spice has sealed up the cracks maybe you can come out on top of this one I I'm not sure but this is a match that could definitely go either way I think oh absolutely Kondo looks like, at least, currently is messing with the Azrael Yumi. Also a pretty good team, but I mean... 
I mean, I, look, I keep, let's be real. If you have Yubi on your team, you probably have a good team going. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, Yubi, Yubi is, a, is a good character who could just do a lot without no, needing to know a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, so it's yeah. also, Azrael gets a lot out of these assists. Like, because I mean, like, the 5P is at the, is a good, like, startup frame, so that way you're able to completely do, like, your mix ups with it as long as it being a, also a lockdown assist. 6P leads to a combo with Gustav, as well as just kind of like a good uh, neutral option to have. And an entire 4P is exactly what Asriel wants. Let's just go into this match. We got two Yumi's on the screen. I'm a, you know, I, I don't know. I'm a little disgusted by that. But then again, if it works, it works. Exactly. I mean, this is definitely like, if do you have, if you're going to be running a Yumi team, you might as well be running like a really good one. And like the Azure Yumi team's pretty good, but the Yumi Chie is gross. Oh, definitely. Here we go. Already in the sandwich. The Yumi getting comboed. <laughs> the, the, the Azrael also getting hit, but does get stay out. Oh, gets a nice hit there, though. This will do a lot of damage because it's Azrael we're looking at. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Unfortunate. The curse. Gets a <laughs> nice use of the throw. Plus frames? Oh. You just threw the plus frames? No, he doesn't care. I mean, it's you're only plus if you let your opponent be on god. Yeah. And here nice. we go. Oh, nice burst, though. Yumi versus Yumi. Tries to get the Azrael involved, but doesn't seem to work now. Snowbirds into 5B. No, oh, we dropped it! Oh, oh the neutral so looks clean. And just go straight to the super. Yeah, that is first safe. That will be a dead Yumi. And now you just have to find that opening with the as like with the chi Yumi Azriel has the advantage right now. The two A is not gonna be a kill even with the with the damage Azriel can provide on the table. But the the OK situation is gonna be pretty gross. So it's for the Sentinel loop to make sure you can keep it clean or condo on the board. Yeah, I, I guess this is kind of what we expected or what I expected going in. Wakando, just one step ahead of the man, but then again, perhaps, perhaps it was Bicycle Twin something around. I mean, is the Azrael truly better than the Chie? I think that's the real question here. I think at least, uh, you know, the, so the strength of a team really just comes down to the pilot. Like, you could have the strongest team in the game or, like, you know, one of the, the most cracked teams, but, like, if you are, if you as a player are not going to, like, not as comfortable in the matchup or against a particular play style or anything, you will just run into uh, some issues. But you can see where Rokondo is very comfortable on the team, very comfortable with that Asriel. Uh, and it's just kind of like, that. Like I hate to say the word outplaying, but it's really the case of like, Rokondo is a very strong player and we're going to have to see if Cinnamon Spice can uh, get used to how Wakando plays and overcome it. It's also the case where it, in a lot of these scenarios, that hasn't really come up as far, but like, uh, Asriel has easily one of the, the uh, best ways of just snowballing and then just getting like a knockdown, doing a 50 50 on your wake up, and then just killing you. Uh, so we're going to see. It hasn't come up yet, but that could be very difficult for um, players to deal with. So we'll see if Cinnamon Spice has an answer to that when the situation arises. Again, uh, oh, again, he gets it this time, though. Oh, yeah. I've heard the good burst from Mukondo coming out again, then again. Yeah, the Azrael getting game. comboed right now. It's looking very good in the starting yes, uh, moments for Cinnamon Spice. However, the mix up, side switch. Oh, it gets punished for the burst. No combo. Yeah, oh, unfortunate. And the 5B will come out. This is four bars on deck. Oh, and now this should minute. be a dead Azrael. You did not super. Yeah, that's a big mistake on the side of Simba Spice. He really would have liked to kill that Azrael, because if you keep him alive, he's going to do big damage, unless he goes down. Yeah, actually, you caught with the 2A <laughs> counter. But wait Antire a minute. With that 5A, you're going to be able to get something started here. It's not going to make a great OK off of it, but it's good enough. Oh! going to be able to get something oh, started. Okay, good. Yeah, great burst. Committed already to the button, so no DP or anything on deck. You have supers on deck, and you will cash them out this time around to get that kill. So yeah, Cinnamon Spice on the board. That's what we wanted to see, baby. That's what it's all about. Cinnamon Spice going for the W. I I'd love to see him win here. That would be such a great cap off to all the trading he's been putting in lately, you know. 
Oh, you yeah. Know, he, hasn't, he, hasn't, he hasn't quite reached the top level yet, but he's definitely getting there. And every single time he comes out there, he, he gets better, you know. Yeah, it's all about that determination. We're going to see if the if the determination from Cinnamon Spice will take down Rokondo. I mean, like, there we can see, like, I mean, granted, Cinnamon Spice did like, kind of leave the, the character on, like, you know, five bars, no super to, to kill the Azrael, but still managed to overcome it anyways, just off of the the opening. Because sometimes, it, you know, may be controversial, but a lot of the time, it's if you make a misplay, sometimes you'll just confuse your opponent and be like, well, what am I opponent doing? They're just clearly misplaying. And then they'll just get smoked because they're too busy wondering why you messed up. <laughs> exactly, but... Simmons fights again off to a good start. No, a random DP here. He has trouble keeping off the DP button sometimes, and he will get punished for this right now. Oh, again, gets caught in the corner by good burst. Let's see Freddy what he gets... can do here. I mean, this... This is big for the man. He needs to try and keep Wakando in check right here. He needs to keep it going, but Azrael again! Yeah, all right. You'll be able to find a little bit of an opening. The sandwich here, the first. Oh, opts to DP instead of just active switching into the other character, but it does not matter at the end of the day because you are able to go into the full aerial rave. You should spend the extra bar to get close to the kill. Oh, but you do a different assist. Actually not able to kill off of it. Spend a little bar for that low, and now it's just down oh to the GA. Oh, nice DP back. Meteor's right. coming out. Of course, Khan have, doesn't have a, air, a jump DP on the guy. But then again, this will... Will this kill? Oh, not quite. Barely Even the power charge doesn't kill. That's too sad. It was the odd starter, and Asriel's a chunky boy. Oh, but wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that JC was Wakanda so opting plus. not to burst. Might have to now will go for that burst. But then again, she is still on a lot of health here. Definitely won't be able to be taken down that easily. I, right. I think. Oh, wait. Hold no, on. this isn't going to kill. <laughs> oh, but no. oh, you try to what? go for the gimmick? Oh, my. Oh my god, Wakanda trying to go for the American reset, and then Cinnamon Spice with the awareness able to catch it out, but the one of the perks of the, uh, the Yumi Azura team is that you have Yumi, so whenever you have all these super fast, like, good buttons, so in the case of if they do, you know, take the first hit tech out, Yumi is still able to get that pressure afterwards and keep it consistent, so it's, uh, it's pretty good. Simmons Spice, he's, he's unaware of these kinds of uh, techs or strategies, you know, like how, how can you predict something like that coming out in the game? I mean, come on. Can you believe that when Yubi is there? Uh, the, if, uh, what should we call it? You don't tech the first to the Asriel and then you tech for it afterwards. Be but that's an Aryu Yubi is still plus, but you aren't eating like the reset and you aren't eating like a ton of stuff it's it's honestly pretty fine you could also like wait if you really want and just not tech any of it until wait like wait until yumi presses a button and then just tech the yumi button like you pretty much just commit to no teching for a couple of hits uh so it's it's a it's a weird scenario i personally don't like the reset all that much but uh does you get frozen though no because uh, if they if they're committed to being frozen, the it doesn't really do much for you. Because if you're getting frozen, the, the in that scenario, if you are getting frozen, then you can still tech out because you aren't getting it, the the combo timer is still going. Right, here we go. Perhaps the final game. I I wouldn't I wouldn't like that though. Simon Spice needs to pull it back here. Needs to get yeah. that Azrael out of the picture. It's been the game changer, I think. Oh yeah, for definitely Wakando. Wakando's Azrael definitely is the the, the pinnacle oh, here. Oh, God. this you are okay. You're not dead anymore. Uh, the the five Bs do cut the scaling down a little bit, but there was potential death there, and that's well, what I was talking about with the mix up. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh nice my goodness! You can oh. never burst against this man! <laughs> yeah, Wakanda definitely good with the callouts here. And just carving it into the flesh. And now just down to the solo Yumi. Oh, and the... Side swap. 
Yeah, it's, some of his fights He's stop. plus there, right? Uh, yeah, he's dashing. You dash through because of the invuld and whatnot, so, like, the Yumi's gonna land right there, and then you finish dashing by the time, uh, the, like, you come down, so you're still plus, so you're able to, like, dash through 5A. So if the opponent is not quick on the reaction to, like, seeing the dash, then you're just getting meaty. Wait, you can't actually react to that, or...? Yeah, no, you can react to that. It's, okay. it's like, 20 frames. Like, it's, like, uh, the dash startup total is, like, 25 frames. Like, it's, it is incredibly reactable, but you need to, like, be react, you know? Right, right, yeah, uh, it's... It's definitely something that he's been using a lot, and well, he got away with it here and totally took the W over Cinnamon Spice. It's still sad to see that happen, but then again, Wakanda is someone you cannot underestimate. And yeah, he's showing Wakanda, right here. Wakanda definitely played that very well, especially that last game. You could just see where like the set kind of culminated. It was yeah. like, okay, I recognize exactly what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna like go in. Exactly. He was on his game. He didn't really make any mistakes and any mistakes the opponent made he well he punished it he blocked the burst multiple occasions and well when he whenever Simba Spice was dp he usually usually got punished for it so. yeah like it straight up was a case of like he blocked three bursts or something like that and then the only time that it didn't really work out for him in a great deal was whatever like he blocked one chia burst and then uh Seven Spice was able to DP, but like it didn't really matter because the DP whiffed and Wakando didn't get a punish or anything on it. But then immediately they weren't blocking low, got hit by the, the follow-up from the 5B, and then just dealt 10k to the character. Yep. But now we're gonna have Proxy Louise versus Oh my goodness. Me. Oh wait a minute. I'm seeing oh. a Gordo on this man, Steve. What is he thinking? Yeah, they really. I mean, granted, you gotta you gotta admit the like you gotta respect the hustle, right? The Ragna, the Jin, the Seth, the Gordo, they have a preference of their character, um, and all of them based. But then now on the other side, that we're gonna have another cracked team. It's gonna be Akatsuki versus Kuragane. The four P coming out. Gonna be able to get something started here. The tech chase. Perhaps Shades of Arma here. I, I I don't know if you know that player, but he's been around a long time. Oh yeah. I've already quit a little while ago, so it's a little sad, but he used to play a lot of Akihiko, and whenever I see him on screen, it just reminds me of the man. Oh yeah, I I feel that. But now, <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Get something going. The sandwich, the DP, and get the Gordo in. The uh, Gordo. Yeah. I don't know if this is the right pick. The Gordo has a. You know, I doesn't see a lot of play anymore nowadays, so... Yeah, I mean, Gordo definitely is on the weaker side of things these days, but it's mainly, like, in this matchup, I think it honestly is is fine. It's not great, but it's like, nice. you can make it work, but the burst is gonna be called out, and now, just like that, the Ragna is dead, and now the Gordo has to work. Yeah, the, the Naoto's on point on you know, this man. I mean, look at this. Good DP again. Oh, nice fake high, then again, doesn't get the low here. Oh, nice. It catches out the Gordo just like that, and it's all over. Tyria taking the dump. Yeah, very good stuff. Like, it's definitely also recognizing that Gordo's, like, ability to mash on defense is not that high. Like, 2B, I think, 2A or 2B is, like, the fastest bind at, like, 7 or 8 frames. So, like, if you're Kurogane and Akatsuki, you're, like... Or not Katsuki, rather, Akihiko, you're gonna be like, cool, bet. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna run in and just start pressing buttons. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm kinda wondering if the Gordo really is uh, the right choice here. He has a bunch of buttons that take way too long to do much yeah. of anything. You can make so, it work. Oh, you switched just... out, look at that. I, I made yeah. it. <laughs> the Gordo can work, it's just like, do you really want to make it work? And I mean, with the, with this team, with the Rock and the Seth, I actually have some good synergy going on here and there. Um, and it will set up a lot of interesting things, so now you're going to be able to do some, like, Ragnar pressure, call a Seth 5P, and then get a really good sandwich scenario where you could go for your great lows, or you could go for your overheads with the Gauntlet Hades. Alright. Oh, oh, god! Some. Oh my god. Yeah, the first actually whiff to get, get hit for it, but no real way of converting off of it. Oh, did he drop that just now? That's the best. Unfortunate, but now gets caught. The burst does come out. 
gonna be able just to convert to a quick combo here. Oh, it's a blue though. We like those. We take those. We uh, absolutely we take those. Hey, he's actually putting up a pretty good fight here for Roxy. Gets the Akihiko. All right. Yeah. Ooh, you could block in the five C though. You could definitely see what the where the Kurogane Akihiko is just not really super familiar with the Seth. Just a lot of the pressure is kind of just getting away with the two A with the just the nice precision on it. Gonna call the assist to get the pickup and go for the super, and it reaches good stuff. That will kill the Akiko. The Naoto is, well, up for grabs, really. Nice yeah. 4P. Let's go. That's going to kill him for sure. I don't think he needs yeah. to spend the meter there, but he will anyway for the W. That, you see, that is whatever. That's how you know them. There's, like, something going on. Not like, I don't want to say something going on, but the funny, it's like a fun fact. Ragna 5P, if you're at the end of the, the combo, at least on a standing opponent, the first hit is a combo, the second hit doesn't. So you can see where that scenario where the player was like, oh, you got me. Hands off the controller, and then boom, got uh, got hit with the American Reset. It's like, this man mains the Ragnar, I imagine. So we could be seeing a lot of good Ragnar action right here. This guy, I mean, oh, yeah. I've, I've like, he's done. kind of been switching the second guy out, but the Ragnar has been consistent through all of his games. Yeah, no, the of of all the teams that that they have, the Ragna is like the the the, the linchpin of all the teams. If like if they aren't playing Ragna, then there's a problem. Meanwhile on the side of Teria, he's he's still playing the Aki Konauto. We did see a couple of other teams. Oh but maybe he's still trying to make it work here. Doesn't actually you know uh Get out the big combos, bring most of the meter here. It's actually a little Dude. bad. Akiko probably going down here. Yeah, Still on five to... meter. He should probably use some of that. Yeah, trying to find an opportunity. Oh, oh but the DP whip, but it, because it's air residence, actually ends up net neutral. Oh, there we yeah. go. Flash Kate does come out, and now the Ragna. Oh, opposite. To just go and give the the plus frames to oh my god the Kurogane and yeah just like that gonna be able to take it down. I thought that Feroxy had this in the bag. The Ragnarsef proving, you know, to be doing very well against this team, but I guess not. Yeah, I mean that definitely was just the scenario of like Feroxy went for that JA connected with it on block, and then was like, all right, but I'm just gonna go into residence. Uh, but in that scenario, you're just giving up so much advantage, and with Kurogane, especially in Residence, gonna be able to have access to that slash Cade, so, like, any sort of pressure, like, you're basically forfeiting your turn against a character that could, uh, at any point just go into plus three with good chip damage. Um, which is, like, really bad to, to kind of give up your turn to, like, at that point, you just have to push block him out, so you're, you got the jump in, and then you gave up a bar. Oh, but the nice DP going into this next game. Alright, yeah, this is... Oh, this is looking very good for Teria. You know, I was a bit worried about the Akiko not really being up to, up to snuff, but... Perhaps I was wrong. Perhaps he's proving me that he's got... Goes down. Yeah, no, it looks... Like to... Oh, let's go! Finding more opportunities for the Akiko to work, at least at these this time around. The burst will be coming out, but not in time. Oh, wow, the DP oh, actually doesn't finish off the job. And yeah, recognizing Froxy is having difficulty just uh, teching those throws. Bops to the Seth with a nice active switch. Gonna be able to get a nice enhanced health region on the Ragna, but unfortunate drop. Gonna be able to be, get something. Sorry for Froxy. Oh, Froxy held up. He got caught with the DP! <laughs> How did he get out of that? I was like, that. Oh, that, what a switch! This best crack. Yeah, very good stuff. Crack. Holy crap. Yeah, that was very, <laughs> very well done. <laughs> no, that's no. Perfect! Yeah, perfect! Like, he, he switched exactly when the DP came out. Yeah, that is that is one of the blessings and the curses like with Ragnar DP because Ragnar DP has like that nice anti-air property with it, but on defense, 
you just sometimes if you get that active switch you are just going the whole wrong direction and you just have to like <laughs> wait there for the just like the run is just like yep i, I guess i die <laughs> yeah i guess uh but very good stuff for proxy day. thanks for coming out per usual and now tyria will be moving on in the loser's side of the bracket We'll have to play the loser of Zexy and Wakando, so uh, I'm not envious of their position. Right. You know, you gotta you gotta wonder if in losers round three some of these guys coming up from like the loser bracket can make a can make a difference because you know that's always where you know you get to the you get to the last four where you know if you're just not good enough you just fall out. Yeah. I mean that's also plays. like I mean it's always yeah, it's, the case, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's a rough it's a rough spot to be in. You definitely don't want to be losers in a typically like in a stacked, um, in like a stacked environment. Though there is that like it really depends on the player and how like how they operate and their effectiveness from that losers bracket. Because some players like like for example, I get tired after playing a ton. Um, so like me and a loser side of things, I get burnt out once I get into like that higher end of the bracket and then I just fall apart. Uh, but some people are like, are really good about chain playing, like just going match after match after match, you know, another one, another one, and able to like keep that momentum and builds a lot off the momentum rather than like getting those frequent pauses between sets and anything. So it really varies between the players. So if you are in the losers right now, I do hope that you, uh, have that endurance to be running these games, but it looks like we will be right, going yeah. into Tomoe versus right, yeah, yeah. All right, this is this is gonna be the big match. Chi ate Tomoe. I've never I've never seen Tomoe either, but from what I've from what I've heard, from what I've seen too, because he won the the last one, he won the last regional fight. I'm expecting a lot, and seeing the Hilda Orie just scares me, you know. Yeah. Toy is a big Aurier fan. I don't recall what their team used to be, or like may, their main team still might be. Uh, I do, I do remember hearing that they were like kind of messing around some other teams. So I don't know if the Hilda is like their main team at this point. But I mean, like their their little thing says, "cute girls doing cute bids." That's what he is about. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to be? <laughs> That's what he's about. He's Aurier is all mids <laughs> according to him. Well, okay. Here we go then. I mean, he's got the Hilda on deck. That's got to be the mix up then. Or I guess Hilda will be running the mix up then. Yeah, this actually, I'm curious on how this works. I feel like on paper, this should be a pretty good Ori team. Uh, Hilda side of things, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll find out. Yes, the sandwich started to get a little bit of pressure going. To see actors which is trying to get something started. The mids are coming out. The low is here. <laughs> the, the one low. <laughs> oh, here the combos! Oh my god. Proper Aurier combos, you don't see a lot of them anymore. At least not yeah. on the EU side of things. No, Aurier definitely fell off really hard after, like, the game came out, and then, like, uh, uh, you know, oh, Leech Root came out, and that was the preferred <laughs> rapier character. But now, nice JA, but going backwards, not, not able to get something started. The throw is her fastest bud, gonna be able to get the punish. Fortunate oh, drop. Threading the needle just now, that was perfect. Oh my goodness, this is chaos. Here we go. Try to get something going with the Weiss here. Definitely keeping up the pressure, but he will reject one day, and then you're gonna have to do something about this Hilda coming in. Really Hilda's nice act. To all the rage from into the grab. Away. Okay. Oh, it's not a dead Weiss just yet, but the 5A into the burst. Okay. Into the the JC. Oh my god. All right, gonna be able to get a combo going with the cross combo. Just gonna loop yeah, the, the blast with the five feet. <laughs> able to get the super as well, and that is a dead ruby. This man, this man, you know, Chie has been trying to play his game, and they're unblockable. Yep. How do you do with that? Oh my god! Very, very good awareness. All right, gonna get the mid coming out. Yeah, this there, there's no way for Chie to run or Chi to run. It, it's over. It's 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 all over. Yeah, this he's, is definitely he's, gonna he's be... He's now just at full screen, trying to approach the hill that... The super doesn't even work. Yeah, it, that that was uh, very good awareness from Toy, and just kind of, at that point, recognizing 
regardless of what this Weiss does, they have to like commit super hard into something that typically is not really going to work in order to get into here. So like, she just has to play that really slow and really methodically. Because um, if you try to go for things like that ice wall, most of the options Hilda has, I'm pretty sure, just smokes. There's when you're at the full range like that. There's nothing. You know, there's nothing they can really do. You know, Ruby or wise. So now here comes the switch, the hard, hard idol Ruby. coming out with oh, the, the funny JC. So maybe that will make the difference. But, but I don't I know. Do I do actually like this swap. I yeah, think, I, I do too. But I is, think is it gonna is... work? That's the question. Yeah, it really is going to come down to how Chi feels about, like, how Chi's heart is. Because we've seen the, the Weiss time and time again, but now, will the heart be up to snuff? Because uh, Heart versus Hilda is honestly a, a much better matchup than, uh, than the Weiss. So we'll see how this works out right now. Well, it seems to be working out pretty well. Gets the 2A. Oh, doesn't punish that burst, though. That was the... Um, yeah, unfortunately, a little too early awesome. on this. It's called Nice Block from Chi. Okay. I don't I don't like that he's taking the distance here. He needs to stay up close to this team if he wants to get anything done. There we go. Good call yes. the assist. Okay, try to get some mix going on here. Goes for the charge 2B. That's, that's not what you Yeah, mean. that was ambitious to say the least. Chi really wanted that burst. Oh, oh my god, he's still funny. Oh, oh, nice DP. All right, never mind. I thought that would have been a turn for the Hilda, but no, not quite, or not yet anyway. Still trying to get get up close every single time. That's what the heart is here for, and it's doing it, its job pretty well. Yeah, the only problem right now is that Ruby is on the full life bar, and Heart needs to get out to just recover some of that yes. life because any sort of hit like right now will kill the heart. So like, that's. That's so bad. Like the the ruby is is the ruby gonna just be able to do anything now? That's the problem. Uh, honestly, pretty pretty sure. At least if she's familiar at how like you're supposed to play Hilda, especially with this, like if they've watched like scrub play, uh, you'll be able to see how like to handle this matchup. It's not bad by any means, but uh, <laughs> that clash was goofy. You um, can see how Tomei is relying a lot on this Hilda. Like the the Ori is just kind of there because she's there, but the Hilda is making the difference. Yeah, this is definitely like whenever you're down to that one character, this team, at least on the Hilda side, is very good. So like, there's no reason not to just swap to Hilda and just play this like long game, get this cross combo gauge back, and just make any hit that you have like just matter oh. a good chunk. Nice conversion. Does have the burst available though. Yeah. Plus frames, no, no ability to... Oh! Wow. Nice 5A, you know, just to get the Hilda out there. Then again, the pressure from the Aurier coming out here, actually. Yeah, the Aurier still doing some work. The oh. nice air-to-air. -air. Gonna be able to go for the buzzsaw. Not gonna be able to finish him off, however. Oh, the... nice! Ooh. I had to throw the, the gun blast, but no, no oh, dice. Hits into the out. Torrent. Oh, this won't kill, though. Still has a chance, but he's at full range against the hill that you do not want to be there. Oh, absolutely not. But now, the EX Buzzsaw is not going to be punishable right further. Oh, nice! What? <laughs> DP was expecting Chi to jump. And then now he's going to have to cash out the full super, and it is going to kill. Yo, Chi, let's go. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, that was a very, good, uh, very good adjustment from Chi. Yeah, the, 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 the heart making the difference, I think, here. Like, definitely, heart I know coming out here set the, you know, made, you know he made Tomo, Tomo play differently. Like, they play the Hilda just completely differently now. You know, put in the pressure on the Hilda, and that makes the difference in this case. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And definitely, like, played the, the Resonance game properly with the Ruby. Just able to consistently find that opening force, like, Able to play the neutral in a way that is making Tomoe have to second guess where they place the Hilda and just really working out. So, really good stuff. All right. Can he keep cool. this up though? That's the question. He that wasn't with a indeed. pixel of health last time. Yeah, that definitely came down to like Tomoe just what like bet the bet the entire barn on like one interaction that uh that she did not commit to. All right, but now able to get the the Ori started. 
He's combo. Nice awareness on the, the weakness of that setup. If you just tag towards the Hilda, you will be fine in most of uh for most spacings. Nail oh, Torrent is, is gonna get cool. stuffed. Yeah, you can see that Tomoe is very uncomfortable at dealing with the more highly mobile team that is like the, the Ruby Heart. Oh nice! nice back. Oh my god. God. Yeah, you can just see Toei is really uncomfortable on defense against this team. Like, do it, opting for a lot of that jump back JA plus Ori 5P. Trying to get something started. Gonna get this super here. Is it a kill, but is an opportunity to tag into the Ori? Tries to get something started, but the JA? Yeah, you don't want to be air to airing with Hilda, my man. Oh, nice DP. Can he kill the hill? That maybe not, but the, the Ori coming in. And not hitting know. its target. It's gonna do a lot of damage yeah. now. It's a super. Oh, it's no, a drop. That drops. Okay. And now try to find a, an opening here. The heart is on low life again, but keeping Ruby in the back line. Perhaps that's the strat going in, but is that the strat you want? Solo Ruby coming out once more. Worked last time. Will it work again? 4P, you gotta get some pressure started. Just using the stand, to be able just to get some highs, some lows mixed in there. The DP is committed, and now trying to give everything she's got, but now 5B, just gonna be able to get a little bit of pressure started. The nail turret is a little too far away for Chi to make something happen, and now back into the corner we go, instant overhead. Yeah, that's, I think, all she wrote. She putting up another, or she putting up another good fight, but this time, totally one step ahead. And, well, What's what what can she what's what's left to do? You know, what what can, what can he do? Yeah, I think <laughs> the the biggest thing here is that she has like Tomoe is clearly not comfortable blocking it against uh Heart Ruby. Granted, uh I don't think many people are very comfortable blocking against Heart, because uh this character mad cheap. Uh but in this in RUC we see where if it's held a point, we're having a lot of jump back uh JA plus assist, which is like a good defensive option. It could be like it could catch you sometimes if you're just walking low like waiting for like a dp or something but like if she's able to find a way to consistently call that out and really make him like second guess like to make tomo away like actually block in a lot of these scenarios then like that's gonna be the most important thing the black homing will come out and now the four piece clash with some four piece and we get an Ori combo started yeah this is not good for chi right here Heart already on low health again. You do want to keep that character on good health at least. The burst but punished because of the flip. Yeah, this is looking really strong for Tomoe. I, f I feel like uh, Chi hasn't really kept the, the heart as healthy as he should. Honestly, it's it's the heart that really makes the difference here. I don't think the Ruby can really do much. Yeah, this definitely has been the case of like you. She's been playing the early game with the heart, and then uh, and then drawing on the ruby anchor. But now, Tomoe catching wind of it, just really hunting down the the heart. Oh, a little bit too high. The instant overhead gonna work out, and now she down again with the ruby oh. anchor. The five eight comes out, but like this is gonna be like a mountain to climb. This yeah. is some David versus Goliath type scenario. The yeah, early yeah. residents. It's no way. Oh, DP, no punish! Okay. Too, a little too far away, the Gun Blast will connect from that EX. Nice jump. Like, Chi's navigating the, the neutral really well versus Hilda, but it's just the case of, like, you have to navigate it, like, well, like, five times in order to kill this character currently. Yeah, the fact that Tomoe still has, you know, the, the assist on the board really makes this almost impossible and here it is it's a dp doesn't actually kill but the grab will and that's all she wrote yeah definitely thought that the dp was gonna be just enough but a little too much scaling and just like that toy moving on over chi very good stuff though very fun set yeah yeah very good good games just now that was amazing to see but yeah, yeah I, I guess the... Tomoe just one step ahead, even against that team. Then again, good switch, nonetheless. I feel like that switch really changed the the game completely. Yeah, like you can see, it, uh, 
you can see in the in those matches where like she had the right read a lot of the time like he had he knew how the offense worked for the team like teching into the hilda to prevent the four peeve to from actually connecting a lot of the time the like at that point they have to commit to the thrust active switch which at times can be a little bit annoying to to like actually get to work because of the uh, active frames of the thrust so like you could see where she had all that and like whenever they got the offense started and like started to like make them like get Tomoe to like defend a lot of the time Tomoe was just able to like not block and get away with it so if she could like consistently find a way to like make Tomoe scared uh or like more commit because like if you're committing to making the block at that point getting like real good meaties going then like they can't do the jump back stuff. Sure, you may eat a DP if you aren't using any safe jumps and stuff like that, but like the risk versus reward is like so skewed. You might as well just take the DP if uh if you can like get, if you could get some good offense started. But very good play nonetheless. Like just had like that one hole that was fouled and Tollway was like, oh, I can just do this. I just kept going and going and going, and it really worked for him at the end of the day. But we do have another match coming up. Is Yo, be... this is going to be another very big match. I'm pretty sure the best EU player we got in this bracket, Zack CC, taking on Wakanda. This is uh... oh, this is it's, it's a match I've also seen a couple of times now. But yeah, I think I think Wakanda has actually come out on top most of the time. I have not seen these two play yet, so I'm actually really curious to see. I've seen Zack CC before with the user hop, uh, but now we're going to see how it is going to work in this game versus Wakando. Nice swap into the Hakuman just for that little bit extra damage. Some pressure started. And now just Wakando with the Yumi is low. Just try to find like a way to get started. DP does come out, very good stuff. Yeah, he, he loves that DP. <laughs> he absolutely adores it. I can't disagree with him. It's a, it's a very good DP at that. Like, and when you need it to work, it doesn't, but like it has so many good points in it to work with. Yuzuri is just a, a, a very good character in general. I mean, sure, you need to kind of lear uh, learn how to do mix with her, but once you do, it's uh, easy sailing from there. Yeah, Yuzu is like one of those characters where it's like she's she's pretty good on her own, oh but like with the with the team, do the thing. Oh, okay, just opting instead to go for the the. Quick combo into the super. Very good stuff from Wakando. And I uh, use this opportunity. What was the thing? Wait, hold on. What's, what's the thing? If you go for Azrael, if you do the Valiant, and then I, if uh, I'll explain it in between the games. Okay. Uh, Black <laughs> oh my God. This is going to counter hit. Seal. This is going to be combo with the two C. Yeah. And now you're going to get the full combo. Oh, did it spin the bar to go for everything? But now I'm going to be able to just get the super. That's an easy twelve and a half. K. Holy shit! The meaty Gustav doesn't commit to it. And you oh, get Black Hawk this. Die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So, okay. The thing is that whenever Asriel goes into Valiant, he can cancel any of his normals into, like, a dashboard, right? Yeah. Uh, that includes his uh, Just Frames. So if he goes for 5BB, which is, like, the, the drop kick that he goes for the Sentinel Fallout for, it has a ton of hits. So you can do the Just Frame for it, Dash forward, residence cancel, pick up with a two-way. It's a way for Azrael to mid combo go into residence. Um <laughs> and it's very good. It's it's optimized damage and everything. Wakanda realized that he didn't necessarily need it in order to get the kill and wanted to go for the residence uh to deal with the incoming. I will also say though, at least from personal experience, um uh, from the usury Hamitsu being all the craze at 1.5 and whatnot. I think Azrael versus Yuzu is pretty good for Azrael. Um, yeah. It, it's a matchup where you have a. If, if Azrael has that meter, he's able just to punish a lot of things that Yuzu's are going to be like more and like used to using because more other characters don't really. Uh, many characters don't have real good punishes for it. Uh, so we're going to see how Zach C is going to be able to really like deal with that in a lot of ways or like what the plan will be. But. Finding first blood here, getting a little bit of good pressure started. Wakanda, no burst or anything available. He's got to eat all of this. And now the mix up comes out, it is just a mid. Okay. Wakanda, oh, Zaxi C looking pretty good early on, but Wakanda picking up the pace just now. Yeah. 
Alright, gets the, the opening here, and now I'm gonna probably go for the... Oh, actually Wait. just opts to swap Wait. for the, the Yubi. That is actually pretty smart. Gonna be able to get the... Just, oh, oh using the ice. Yeah, using that ice just to get that reset. Very cheeky stuff from a condo. All right, some pre yeah, just able to clip the, the assist a little bit. Not nothing too spicy, but you know, all you need sometimes is a little nature seasoning. Oh, right. that's a bad super. I think that super does reach up pretty high, but not that that high. Yeah, no, it definitely. Oh my goodness, you just threw the dash cancel. Oh my goodness. All right. That's all she wrote for the Hakuman, and now... Oh, he went yeah. for the deep, he wasn't even necessary, he gets punished for it, actually. Oh my God. Yeah, just a little a little punish for it, but it is worth it. It's a little too far, though, you do have to TK that whatever to make the, the Gustav actually counter hit in that scenario. The Slash has come out, realizing that you can't really contest there. Nice tech on the throw, and now... You go with blocks the JC. Nice awareness, the DP does come out. Oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> So like I was saying, that's a pretty good DP. Yeah, it is. Sometimes it doesn't work out for you, but when you need it to work, it just works for you. Oh my goodness, <laughs> these two matches have been insane so far. Very good set so far, it's very fun to see. Oh my god. These two are so equally matched too, like it's, it's great. Yeah, I like seeing a lot of the stuff that uh, where Kondo was like going for as well. Like it was very interesting to see like going for the just like in that scenario right in the corner, just going for ending the combo early with that ice, not really opting to call the Azreal or anything to like you know go for a standard uh, a standard ender. They're calling the Azreal for additional support. Realize the Azreal is low, so like let me just like take this cheeky reset and make you keep you on your toes. So really good stuff right now. Has to CC to keep the Azreal healthy. And now just trying to find a way to get the Yumi in. Well, I've said before that the, the Azreal is really the game changer, but I think in this case the Yumi is put a lot of weight too. Yeah, definitely. Like, because I mean, against Hakuman, it can be really kind of like obnoxious and neutral for Azreal. So in this scenario, we're seeing a lot with like, Wakanda's like, okay, I'm just going to play the Yumi against Hakuman because it's really annoying for Hakuman. And then I'll just play Asriel versus oh Yuji to get these Black oh Hawks as a happy birthday. Oh my god. He is so good. Oh, you pressed a button. No. It doesn't matter though, it does it? Oh my god. Actually, is Asriel going down here? Actually? Yeah, yes. able to get the full the the full thing on it. Get the full spice, and now it's just a solo Yumi versus the Hakuman. The DP comes out, but able to call it out. Zach CC, gonna be able to get something started here cross raid able to get the that little additional hp region on the hawkman very good awareness from zach to see here oh all right i mean Let's this look is the other way dead but like you're it's like a next type of scenario try to go for a throw and now a residence on the cross combo five c's blocked and oh. then the projectile gonna come out it's yeah not gonna kill the yuzu good act to switch and now oh but now uh -oh. finding the kill of the yuzu the 5C, well, JC rather, comes out. Oh! <laughs> Dude, this is a slobber knocker all of a sudden. What is going on? Oh, a lot of palooza, if you would. What is going on? Look, Wakando taking the victory, but I, I don't know what was happening, honestly. Yeah, at that, at the very end, both players were just like, you could definitely tell we're like, all right, I need to, I need to finish this game, so I'm gonna like, Commit, 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 and both sides were like, oh, he's gonna commit, I'm gonna commit as well. And it's just so weird. Yeah, but how did... So, so Hakuman air DP'd, right? Yes. How did Yumi's 5A not get DP'd? Uh, it was... The air DP doesn't have a ton of catchframes on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh, Hakuman's DPs were... Like, or parries in this game are a little different than they are in CF, so I mixed them up a ton. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't have too many catchframes, and it was just a little delayed. Wakanda didn't commit to anything at that point, and was just like, "All right, but I can just five a it." And then, but at the same point, was like, uh, "Like it was like the mix of like, oh, I should punish this DP, and then go got it, and then it was like, but wait, what if I get caught, and then didn't press a button afterward?" Oh, okay. Very, it's very funny scenario. Like, oh god. Oh, trying to punish the, the, the sandwich. But it's funny. 
Oh, and a nice okay. No conversion though, that's a bit unfortunate. Calling out the last time Hondo did opt to go for the throw that time, waiting for the burst point. And now like, coming for that raw super, I don't know if that's what you want to do. He's gonna get punished for it here, and I mean yeah, we, we've seen what Zack can do with two characters on the on the field, so. Yeah, absolute Hail Mary from Wakano. It's worked out a couple of times, but you can definitely see it's just not super comfortable with like some of these neutral scenarios. The DP is going to be safe here. Uh oh. Yeah, but you are able to jump. It was uh, the assist that procced it, not the, the point. Uh oh. That ice right, so... is going to be worried. He's going to be worried now. Oh, oh, wait a minute. He's not dead, but like this is a ton of damage. Yeah, that's not what you want to see. Asriel definitely carrying. Big chunk of health away from Hakuman into the unblockable, and the burst yeah. is also blocked. Good that God was, Almighty! That's uh, Wakando recognizing. They were talking about it earlier in the chat, be like, "Oh, I need to lab that." That setup seems a uh, seems a little gross, and then uh, and then oh, you can see the familiarity, but able to catch the Yumi wasn't blocking the cross up from it. Look for that combo. Just get hit now with the happy man. Oh. oh, good God! Oh, you're so awesome. dead. Yeah. Oh my goodness, dude. That is a. Uh... That is goofy. You know, we were looking at it. We were like, all right, this time Zaxi is about to make a big comeback, but Wakanda's like, nope, I'm taking this, and just like that, it's all over. Moving on. Very good I, stuff. I mean, yeah, that that definitely was the case of like that was just like the first thing that happened was the the whole was not ready for the the like DP setup, like going for the uh, the unblockable reset. Uh, like that was just like the the first thing that started like cooking the spice. Uh, the, the next one just to follow that up was the fact of like. Found that opening, tried to go for the overhead. The Yui parry came out. It was like, oh, let me just act a switch just to get it out. Uh, but not really working out. That match was the, all those matches were really back and forth. I I, <laughs> I I need to look back some of those. That was great. Oh, does uh does Yuzu's air DP have emblem frames? I wait. Uh, for or, Zexy in the chat, you say that you, you get a hold C and mash DP. I mean, I mean that's that's what Zach usually do does, right? He just presses DP whenever he feels like. It. Otherwise, it's either a low or a, or an instant overhead from the Hakuman, you know. Oh, you're Hakuman at that point. Okay, yeah, I guess that could. Yeah, that could also work. Like it really, it really depends. Oh, it has irritable. Okay, then yeah, I guess both those could be viable answers for it. Though you are still like running the risk of uh, you're still running a. That feels a little risky compared to just not teching and then just waiting for the blue beat on the Azrael DP or the Yui button and then just like to going forward. Because even though it's a good scenario if they if you do tech or if you don't tech on the first button, like if you like blue beat first button then tech out, you're still at that point like. The Yumi, even though it's like, oh, I could be plus after this, is like such a weird level of commitment that is just kind of awkward, at least in my opinion. I like I like how in chat uh Wakando's trying to make a deal with Tomoe to not run Hilda. <laughs> like <laughs> he knows that's the one character to watch out for. So he's like, How about you don't play that? You know, how about you come out here and play? <laughs> Play yeah. else for once. <laughs> I will say, uh, despite the early, the or whatever the patch like first came out, and like a lot of people were like, "Look, it's like, oh, Azrael just beats Hilda free." I mean, I was in that category as well because a lot of the Hilda players at the time were not very good, uh, and also like, it's like, oh, well, Azrael's anti projectile; she's a zoner. It's free, uh, but it's the case of like Azrael versus Hilda is super annoying. I can like imagine. it's. So now, but now we're gonna have Chief versus Cinnamon Spice. Gonna be able to get something oh. started here with that 4P, but no dice, the projectile does come out. Yeah, Chief back on the Ruby Weiss. I mean, here he doesn't need to pull out the, the heart because there is no real zoning on the side of Cinnamon Spice, I don't think. 
Oh, nice side swap. Gotta be able to take the corner with this, with uh, this routing from Chi. Double gun blast, gonna be able to get the save jump. Goes for the low instead. Oh, nice! Nice roll super, okay! I don't know, I don't know if that was just luck or... Had, had the, you, you just gotta believe sometimes. <laughs> you just gotta believe, that's true. If you don't believe, it ain't gonna work. Oh my that's... goodness! Goes for the end to air. Locks down the Yumi right out of the gate. Gets the zoning there, actually. Oh my god, this... Yeah, one sword, two sword, red, what the? That was Okay. Insane. But perhaps that... Cinnamon Spice is not phased? No, absolutely not. Cinnamon Spice still playing really just with their heart at this point. Deploy, the sword does whiff, the oh. burst is blocked, and now it is just going to be down to this solo Chie. Super will kill the Yubi. Oh, setting up that glyph. I don't know if it's even gonna matter at this point. I think it. No. That's fine. Oh, nice blocks. It's the block so much of that now. Oh, it gets hit by the four P. That's all she knows. Yeah. I mean, Cinema Spice just needs to kind of adapt her. I don't think there's a lot of people playing Weiss in general. Like Weiss is one of those characters that can be really good. But, you know, sometimes you need to put in that effort and a lot of people don't really like playing Weiss in the U, apparently. Yeah, definitely Weiss is, like, one of those characters that could get really, like, get a lot of mileage. Like, it's not... She's not a character that should be slept on. Um, yes. Yeah. But also, the same vein, she's, like, not... Like, she's not so spectacular that you're, like, you know, gonna start, like... She's not like your Hilda's, your Adachi's or anything, right? She's not the top of the top, but she's definitely like a solid, like high, like tier area that should still be considered. Uh, like, I mean, Hashima has like proved that time and time again, just playing twice incredibly well. You know, right. he, he like Simba Spice there at the start tried to go again for that side or the, the sandwich, but again, the Chi not going far enough <laughs> and so messing them up, and now he's gonna get caught before this is. He's yeah, got to change that up. He's got to change it up. This is a different team. He's got to work on that. All right. You're just using the, the dash in. Nice. Use the 4P. Baits the burst. Very good stuff. Going to cash out a bar. This should do like 8K. A little more, actually. Yeah, 8.5. Very nice stuff from Oh, my team. God. Nice bait. He only spent one meter, so nice. Incredibly good. A good DP, though. He just likes to use the DP, but... Oh, and again, the burst! Again! Again! Yeah, <laughs> They're she, not working! She is breaking ankles with this, like... <laughs> the way the way he's baiting burst is quite literally run forward a little bit and block. Yeah. Like, I'm... every time it's just like, I'm doing something, uh, JK. Yeah, it's so, it's so... It's gotta be so frustrating for Cinnamon Spice. And Cinnamon Spice just tried to run out of the, the scenario. Able to block the super, oh, the ruby oh, comes he by. Fucking, he's DPing! Yeah, just, honestly, gets a little mixed up by which side should I actually block. Just gonna opt to DP and go even with the scenario instead. Meteors come out. The JC will be contested. Oh, and side oh. swap, but oh, the assist ruins the combo! How unfortunate! <laughs> but no one will on Meteors. Oh, that was so unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Despite where you may hide, where you may be, the meteors do not have invuln frames. Yeah, that's uh, that's so sad. How did that even happen? I mean, I guess he didn't expect the the wise projectiles to home in like that. I I don't expect that either. Those projectiles are something else. Because yeah, they they they're def they have that degree of homing, which is like really nice to them, but and definitely better than they were. Um, but oh, they, like they, some... they were different. No, they they had way worse uh, homing. Oh, like okay. right now, I don't know the exact like catch frame if you would, where like the frame that like it picks and then it starts launching that direction. It used to be like half that, well, double that duration. Like, oh wait a bad. minute! Happy birthday! And it catches both the characters. <laughs> this is a million. You are you dead? Wait, actually, are you dead? No! no! <laughs> that was oh insane. no! Cinnamon spice. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh my goodness. But that's a good start. Maybe you can kind of pick up from there and turn it into a W, or maybe not. 
achieve finding that. Yeah, just finding the opening now after being. Oh, never mind! Getting <laughs> good blasted and then just finding like. The... Oh, yeah, this is like. She is swinging for the fences and hoping yes. to like make something work now. Instead of his vice is willing oh. to oblige. Oh my! To me! She isn't still out of this yet. Can still make this back. I mean, it's uh. Oh, actually, it's doable now. Oh yeah, it's actually very doable. She's made this like a really good comeback off of a off of oh an actual goodness. disaster of a beginning. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> no! But how? But how? Build different. He's built, he's built different. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. He was he was starting off so great, and she was like, "No, no, 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 no! You, you see, you, you, you need to relax. All right. <laughs> you, you make one mistake, I'm coming back, just so you know it." And well, he did. So. Yeah, that was so unfortunate. Just like added, like I don't know if that would have killed. I'm curious if that really would have killed off of uh, like three bars. You use power charge. You and cross combo. Oh. Oh no no! I don't think it would have actually. No, it, it it was like if he had four meter. Oh yeah, Then absolutely. it would have. Yeah, then it would have killed because then you could just go into super and that would have like done twenty k to both guys and then yeah that's it. But like right off the gate, you're not gonna have that amount of meter usually. So yeah, but with the three, I'm curious on how power charge like power charge. Do you like I don't know if it's like five D TK uh, dragon kick or something or like. What it would have been. But yeah, that would have, uh. Ew, that was. Oh, I see. You could have got it with the. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of sense, actually. But. Right, Should have, could have, would have. Uh, Zach C coming up against. Uh. Tyria. I'm gonna have to, like. I have to, like, put that in my brain that Tyria is the name because I'm so used just to looking at the Steam name and going boom. But. Zaxi and Tyria. This is going to be interesting to see. Tyria, we've seen rocking typically a Kuragane plus one strategy, whether it's been Hakuman, uh, Akatsuki, or uh, Akihiko. But now, Zaxi with the Yuzu on deck. We'll see how this is going to work out. Oh my god. He's got the grab. Here we go. Into the loops. Let's see what we can do after this, though. Oh. Nope. He gets. Oh. Go for a DP and. You see, oh, oh nice. wow, the air B Tatsu to call out Dario. Caught Switch. low. Nice oh, bait. Oh, my oh my god, you get a full combo for this too. That is really cool, actually. Alright, good Oki okay scenario. Just opts to, to jump out. Jump to avoid the sway, catching the air option. Very nice stuff from Zach CC. Chesto, good, but not plus, gonna be called out and now oh. right under him. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, I guess he just mispressed the, you know. Yeah, I, what, I'm, cu I'm pretty sure that was a miss input on the, the yeah. doing the super parry, oh, but yeah. could have been some sort of cheeky reset as well. And just no, be a no, block, no. punish, die. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> yeah, no, like... I, I don't think it is either. I don't know. I, I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt. I'm just not entirely sure if that's um, how it would all play out. Right. Zach CC, the last hope for the EU side of things. He's definitely one of the better EU players we've got in general, so... Let's see if he can make it through this loser bracket all the way to Grand Finals. I'm not sure, actually. On the way, he might have to face Wakando again, and then, well... Yeah, if I remember if it right, it should be... So, we have Wakando waiting uh, in winner's semifinals versus Tomoe, and then it should be Zaxi fighting a... If Zaxi beats Tyria, then he'll have to play Chi in order to fight the loser of Tomoe and Wakando, and then going back into Grand Finals has started back. So one way or another, if he's on a win streak, he will have to face Wakando again. Uh, but he also still may have to get through Tomoe in the process. It's very, uh, very difficult, to have to say the least. All right. 6P is going to catch on the Akatsuki. Akatsuki is already in that red life area, like is bleeding massively. Goodness. 
Attack CC already in a good spot here. Gets the 2C again. Here we go. Good burst though, coming out. But then again, is that a 4P? Uh, yes. All right, gonna be able to get the super here just to cash out, get that OK scenario, and build up that cross gauge again. I mean, now he's now he's got no meter though. Yeah, definitely was like trade off of like I'll take two, I'll trade these two meters to kill the Konski off of the happy birthday. Very nice optimization from Zach CC. Wow, that was crazy. Serious standing. Little chance against the ups, the, the 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 overwhelming might of the Hakumen Yuzu. It's a uh, it's a dangerous team. Oh yeah, it's a dangerous team. ZZZ plays it very proficiently, and like that. What else can you say? Like just has been recognized the situational awareness of saying like, all right, bet off of this random six P hit, I can smoke you. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> and it are those little hits that you don't expect to do a lot of damage, but on that team, it. They they go to full combos, like, it's insane. Yeah, he's also did a really good job of, throughout that match, just tagging the Kuragane and the Akatsuki, like, the whenever, uh, whenever Tyria would call the assist, there, like, all, a nine times out of ten, ZXCC just had a, had their own assist or their point, just check them. Even if it's for, like, two, three K, after, like, four or five times, like, the character is, like, bleeding really early. Uh, saying that the, the Katsuki was the problem here, got to swap to the Ragna. I have not seen this one yet. Yeah, me neither. This is surprising. Perhaps he's taken a page out of uh, out of Feroxy's book, but is that really the way to go? Who knows? Yeah, we'll find out right now. I mean, Ragna is a strong character. Uh, these four Ps are going to do a little bit of work. Some good pressure just coming out. And now... Trying to get something started, the clash on the buttons, but now Antire with the DP, gonna be able to get something started. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, it sucks that, that you can combo off that too. Like, it's gonna do oh, a lot yeah. of damage. It's very good, and that is burst safe, at least at that point. All right, one, two, three, gonna be able to get the full thing going, and just up for the cross combo. Uh, kill, There's but... no way this kills. Oh, so, so much damage. Oh yeah, that yeah, it's great, Oki. That that I totally makes sense. All right, the XP comes out and divine oh, masher. No. Oh no no no! What are you doing? <laughs> oh god! Yeah, the calling out the the reversal option by just going for it. Oh. oh, inferno divider, but that is all she wrote. That should be a kill. Hero rape should. Oh wow, actually not getting the not getting the kill off of this scenario, but what? <laughs> Yeah, Carnage Scissors follows up on block, able to get a little bit of the life back. Oh my goodness! That's the thing wait, with wait. the yeah. This is the thing with Anchor Ragna with Residence is that like he gets all this life back, especially with Carnage Scissors. So now he has the life lead. Oh wait a minute, Terry, a fake can what? Can I do it? What can he? I think he can. This is not gonna kill. Now he's yeah. just gonna approach the Yuzu. Perhaps the hardest thing of all time, but here he goes with, with the, the raw super. Scissor. Yeah, if you. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> all right, it's the a super. To... No, it oh, comes. yeah, a little too far away to get the full super confirmed. But now, like, Zexcc is bare. All of his bar doing these ex slashes are gonna get oh, entire DP for it. Oh that, my goodness! I'm curious. I'm curious on what the the idea there with using yeah, the no, he flashes. just wasted everything, thinking, please die, but it doesn't work like that. Tyrion does not give up the switch working out in his favor. Good God. Yeah, very, yeah. very good play there from uh, from Tyrion, just able to make that comeback. Yeah, like Zack just getting a little too ahead of himself, and it's costing the man two to one now. Perhaps the comeback is on the horizon. Who knows? <laughs> it could be. And all that came back from just a misinput on an active switch. Well, on a DP, rather, that turned into an active switch and gave Ragna all that life to be able to go for it. Now, in this match, blocks that 5A, well, 5P, rather, but no dice. Good defense and just go for the DP. Try to prevent Zag CC from getting anything really started. They're trying to just... 
zone him out here, more or less, or just use the range if the Hakuma. Yeah, has yeah has the opportunity to burst in a few of these oh, scenarios. Oh, super. The super. Yeah, <laughs> just gonna commit. Get off of me. A DHC for for shits and giggles, dog. <laughs> if right. only. But I don't think he's willing to throw the match. I think he's I think he's definitely intending to take this one home. Good brace <laughs> bait of the burst. Oh my goodness. Yeah, actually you can see where he like delayed himself there to be like, alright, if you don't burst this, I'm gonna murder you. Uh oh, try to go for a oh throw God. bait, but ended up getting thrown oh. for it. Oh overhead? The, the, the triple reset? Oh, oh my goodness! Quadruple reset now. The... Let's go! Oh my god. Yeah, All another right. one? We, we got oh, we got overheads for days on the rock now. Oh, unfortunate! You didn't get the right angle to get the the dive kick to like launch. Now, just like that, the Ragna will be. Never mind, the Kurogari oh, will be down. He wants the Ragna for first. the final stretch. I mean, it's the one character that can get the health back. Oh, here we go! Oh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> there comes all the health. Now the, the the user has to watch out. Oh, but that nice grab! One. I think that'll be awesome. Oh, will really? it? Oh my god. No, oh, it won't. Wait, it was a really awkward combo point. Going for the oh, Hawkman, no, no, this no, no, is going no. for the oh, gimmick. Oh, oh, you gimmick to Nice stuff from Zag Speed. He had the 9 meter too. This is so sad. <laughs> yeah, I actually got knowledge checked. That is that is definitely a, what could happen in nice game of BB tag. Yeah, you, you, can't, you can't predict that. You just, you just can't predict that. All right. Wait, did somebody rage quit just now, or? No, I, that was a. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was like three one or something like that. I think, I think, uh, Seth's game had like some sort of issue during it, but I think it's worked out now. I don't know how. If we want to remake or whatnot, just to verify, yada yada, bing bong, etc. But looks like we will be having Chi versus Zaxi as our losers semifinals, and our winners semifinals. We have Tomoe versus Wakanda, which is going to be next up on stream. Oh my goodness, the big match! It's the big match, everybody. It's always the big match. Winners final is more or less just grand final, but. <laughs> <laughs> because usually the one that loses here wins loses final anyway and then we're just having a rematch it's not always the case but in this case i don't feel like they'll be happening again yeah it's not always the case but it really like i'm curious to see how it's gonna go because this top four is oh, pretty solid wait a minute a gentleman's agreement no hilda oh my wow goodness. To be fair, though, I don't think this is much better for Asriel. I really? personally, I think Yumi versus Asriel is like absolute terrible. It's like one of his worst matchups. I don't know. I don't, she I don't know. does what Asriel does, but better. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure, but I think I think this is like this is better for for Wakanda in general. Like now that the Hilda is out of the picture. Uh, it might. You know, he's gonna have to run a different game plan, you know. It will. It will probably just come down to Wakando's uh, like uh, favorability. Like, if he wants to, uh, like Hilda is annoying but like doable. Whereas like Yumi is annoying, but like if you're more familiar with uh, how to deal with Yumi, then you can still play it. But like, man, it's whack. <laughs> I'm still waiting for Rogondo to ready up, but I don't think he'll be making any switches here. Right? I imagine he's not. No, oh. if anything, he might swap to the uh, Israel uh, heart. Yes. Yes, that's that's what he was, you know, gonna do with uh, Tomei ran the, ran the Hilda. Because heart is like Hilda's main counter. Or... I imagine so, because JC is very funny. <laughs> Yeah, that is also a good point they makes in the chat is that Ori versus Yumi is also kind of kind of whack. So it's like it's kind of Yumi plus of like Yumi versus a bad matchup in a mirror match. I right, get a little bit of damage on the Tomoe's Yumi, and now full sandwich scenario. Oh. The five P will catch. No active switch. 
Able to catch the backdash with the 5B, though, is going to lead to a chunk of change. Oh. And now, yeah, going to be able to go for the, the 4P plus throws they going on. The UB is bleeding, needs to find yeah. a way out, and yeah, just like that. that. That's a good burst, regardless. Even though you're eating that 6K, your UB is alive now. Yeah. Um, oh, and but you are getting rolled. Actually, like you said, this might actually be worse. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a super, this is how much? 13k? Oh my yeah, goodness. Uh, the, the burst of the in theory is a good thing because then you can actually have a chance to play with both your characters at once. However, uh, Wakando did not get a chance to play. He got rolled. Uh, you know, being fair, because like yeah. that was just really good play that for was, That was an absolute squash. Yeah, that Tomoe just played that round incredibly well and just really found that opening, kept the pressure going, found the opening again, bro active switch with that 4P out to just really patch uh, Wakanda with, with the pants down, uh, frankly. Like, that was definitely, like, that wasn't even, like, an info type or, like, you didn't really get much info. The way you got was, like, like I'm going to text just gotta sometimes. Think now you just gotta think, what's going through Wakando's mind? If I actually made it worse for myself, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, this is definitely, like, really rough for... That's a rough game you one to get started that. with, yeah. but now... Oh, no! Here we go again! Sandwich, yeah, five Oh, my goodness! Yeah, and just try to keep it burst safe as again, possible. The, the Yumi is almost dead, 50-50 dead. Like, rolled. Actually, get it, like... Wakanda is not getting a chance to really play no. the Resonance on full life, and now gets caught for dashing. Like, this is, like, not even, like, a, a potential character swap, like, no. might fix this, but, like, this is just straight up, like, familiarity's Spring. sake. Yeah, this is just, oh my God. Way, like, played really well. A, a change! Oh no, what's oh, so is gonna is gonna hit, do a happy birthday. That is a way to get started, but you still need to find, like, a lot of, a lot of ground here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go, turn around. <laughs> He's had enough. He's had enough of this bull crap. He's coming out there, we're all oh, super, what Yeah, oh, no. it is got oh. punished, but we'll get a little bit hit from the Aurier. Like, actually making the comeback with this Azrael, nice throw tech. Oh, uh, but yeah, really good active switch, just catching him out. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, drop combo! Tome away! What? Now it's oh! down to the wire. Plus I can't believe that happened. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. He might have lost this one, but the cracks are showing. The cracks are showing on the side yeah. of Tomo. Like, that was definitely, like, it just... Despite the fact that, like, the Yumi just got, like, rolled at the very beginning, Wakando found the opening with the Asriel, just really good stuff. You know, that combo at the end, uh, where Tomoe went into the Super 2 early, like, usually with a man who has, you know, Ori all over the, the, the profile uh, <laughs> thing, You'd imagine that wouldn't happen. But perhaps Tomoe felt bad. You know, <laughs> felt bad for killing Wakaldo like that in the first round. And, you know, I mean, it's now taking a pity on him. Like, like, It could be that. It could also be, like, at least, like, what well, happens to be a handful of times where, like, sometimes you have that lead. You're sitting on a perfect and their character is, like, half dead. And then all of a sudden you're, like, Wait, what do you mean? Like I'm I'm getting rolled all of a sudden? It's just one character. This shouldn't be this close. Uh, and then all of a sudden you're you're dying. And I'll try. Well, I'll opt for the valiant for the overhead. Get him with a little bit of cheese of his own. Oh, happy birthday! This did hit the assist first, but so the flag isn't planted there. It's gonna be able to drop this out, and it's just gonna go for the super here, full sparring to put him in the corner. And it is going to be able to get a sort of sandwich situation, but yeah, good push block out blocks, and now sandwich situation of Tomoe's own. Oh, oh, doesn't matter. Nice, nice awareness from Wakando, actually. Ooh. And go for the throw. That's right, baby. He's, he's, he's getting it. It took him a while, but this is the moment he's been waiting for. Wakando, he's going to make it. He's going to roll it back. 
This is the complete opposite of what we saw in game one. Yeah, Wakanda, like, just got to play that time. Like, truly, like, just found that opening and, like, a good awareness from a lot of situations. Like, recognizing, hey, my assist is going to take this assist and, like, because of these hits, I'm going to, like, I'm going to be at an advantage here. So let me just mash real quick. Like, I think in the first game, uh, Wakando just had to kind of, you know, predict what Tomoe was going to do. But now, now he seems to finally, you know, get his ground, get his game together. And, you know, he's making Tomoe work. And, you know, sometimes, sometimes if you have to work, it's going to take a lot out of you. You can't, you know, predict everything that's going to happen. And that's where the mistakes happen. Absolutely. Uh, or something like that. I don't know what I'm going on about. I'm just trying to say stuff. Wakando gonna, is going to try and make a run back now. That's what I like to see. More or less. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I, just, I think uh, a game is acting up for somebody because I've got a black screen right now. On the... oh, yeah, me too, man. This is... <laughs> this, yeah. Uh, so Tobe was... Okay, this is what happened, right? Like I, I know the backstage, backstage antics. This, this, is, uh, this, this happens all the time. So basically, w Wakando went up to, went up to like like after this game, he went up to, uh, God, he, w he went up to Tomoe and was like, "Hey man, did did you see that? Like, like your team, your team is nothing, you know? Like this this isn't gonna work. This this, this team, it's it's you need your Hilda. Don't you understand? I'm gonna beat you now." And then the Tomoe was like, "Screw you, man. We made a deal. You you were supposed to be <laughs> cool and all that." You're supposed to be cool with this. I changed for you, and then you know they, they got into an argument, and then we had to you know we had to send them both home. So we're, we're moving on to uh, losers semis or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I, oh, we're not. We're not. No. Okay. Never mind. We're, we're actually. <laughs> we're actually I, I feel like we're actually gonna finish the set. Oh yeah, no. It's, I think Rukondo just has to restart his game. I think somebody's game crashed, and so they're just doing a quick restart. Get back into it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I always <laughs> like to like to imagine like the you know the people in the bracket are just uh, in a locker room before their matches, you know, and they're like preparing. <laughs> it's like a sports anime yeah. where just you run into the rival team and you're like, I'm gonna win. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Well, here we go. We're back at it again, and let's see if uh, that little incident caused any anything. I mean. Yeah, it could have given the chance of like a little bit of a breath for uh for either side. With yes. a throw, throw again. <laughs> Kondo not ready for that by any means. Nice blocks. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. But because the happy birthday, because the way of her hits just forcing her out, Azriel is dead. I can't believe uh, how? This... how is he all... oh he's not dead. No way. Uh oh actually is it yeah, just BP boy. Gambles the, the barn on the DP and now just has to like make this work with the the solo Yubi for a little while while Azriel is in ER. The five Bs collide. God, that's 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 just Yumi gaming. True, actually, you cannot be calling the Azriel sis because it will be sniped. You gotta find your way with the Yumi, and this is how it gets started. Goes oh, for God, just the button know. super. Wait. Yeah, this will combo you are able to get like a DP oh, for the knockdown right. scenario oh, okay, here. Okay, I, I didn't and then know. TK I Growler, that's reactable. <laughs> oh, what's happening? All right, yeah, just now, like, that is a great way to get started. It's a million and five plus frames from that. All right. Good oh, bait no. with the EX, but unfortunately, no full confirm. The, yeah, the anti are trading with the uh, JA, rather. Plus frames. 6P is in position, but no, they don't want to cross combo. Oh, is that? Yeah. No one's... Waited for the, the double jump to get the the kill here. Oh, unfortunately, dropped the combo. All right, just was baiting, baiting the DP. <laughs> and now with the full combo, yeah, this should kill. Just keep it simple. Go for the 2A, 2C loops. And then you should be able to kill. Yep. Wakando, bring it back. Yeah, he is two to two. This is the this is the difference maker. Mukondo finally got his game together, and now now it's a, it's on to our final match. Yeah, like Mukondo just found that opening, really just able to 
even off of that like pixel life with the Azrael, just able to find that opening, get like get things going, and just able to just milk all of the damage you can. Uh, and even recognizing the early, the fact that going for like the Bun Super DHC had a little bit of tech time left to where like you could squeeze that DP in for proper OP. Really good stuff from uh, from Wakanda in that round. This team's cracked. I do, I do, I'm a fan of the Azrael Yumi team. I mean, you were talking about the Azrael Dachi. Oh yeah, Azrael Dachi is like better than this, but uh, it is still, <laughs> it, like, as as I've said in the, the Azrael chat with Arno and a few others, like, the Azrael Dachi is like the best team, and then Yumi's second. Like, Yumi's like right below it, but it is, it, it's really showing right now with Wakando, like, messing with the team more and like see like yeah actually like you have a lot of cool things you can do with them oh going out for the for the jas again it's probably one of Orie's best buttons i suppose i'll opt for the 5a there just to try oh to get God. like a little bit more of it maybe 5c is gonna be net neutral all right gonna be able to get something started here now oh Got nice up. low from like half screen what is this yeah, that's the thing with Ori is that that stand has that high-low mix that I will never be able to tell what who's getting hit by what because it looks the exact same. Nice gap, creating that active, like throw active switch scenario. Very cheap stuff from Toboy. The buds come out and yeah, just trade damage for damage. Nice. Clashed. Nice. EX. No, crap. Certainly does. Now he's at full screen again. I think I think this is looking like, uh, you know, how he would do this if he was running the hill. Is it really much of a difference? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like just kind of like same, similar song and dance with how the, the neutral is being played out. But granted, it's like really like the best way to like be playing the neutral here. Oh. And believed in the minus frames. Unfortunately for Pondolo. Oh, wait, unfortunately wait. for Tomoy. No, I thought there was going to be a mix-up, but there was no mix-up. There was only mid. And just like that, Tomoe will be taking it over Wakando. And now, Zach CC has a, has a beast in his path. Like, has a, has a beast in his path, just right here with the... Has to deal with... Firstly, has to deal with Chi. And the winner of that has to face Wakando. Winner of that has to face Tomoe. And we're down to our last three sets. Potentially last three. There could be a Grand Finals reset. I mean, with the people we've got here, I don't see that happening. Last time we had Moff on, who could definitely, like, you know, was definitely a little better than Tomoe. It could definitely, you know, if, if they were to go one-on-one uh, -on -one again, that would be, that could go for, you know, another reset. But I, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know what's going to happen. We're Chief or Sexy C is up next, I think. Yes, that so, is going to be the next man. So I'm kind of rooting for Zach, I guess, on this one. I mean, Chi has uh, a character that, you know, you don't see a lot in the EU. So kind of rooting for that team. But I'm rooting for Zach because he's EU, you know, just like that. I, I I don't know who I'm rooting for, really. Yeah, it's it's interesting to see. I like I like Zach C's team a lot. Also, it's like user. He has like tip is semi uncommon. Like she's more common than you would believe. But also like there she's very niche. Whereas, like, similar thing with Weiss going on, I like the fact that she actually goes for, like, the cool Weiss stuff, like getting the land cancels and everything. Uh, the problem here is going to be whether or not, like, are you sticking with the Weiss? Are you going with the heart? How do you want to deal with the Yuzu? Because yes. Aquaman's obviously very strong. But, like, I feel like Ruby and, like, all the characters can deal with Aquaman to a degree. But, like, the Yuzu is going to be the thing of, like, how do you... Do you want the fast air approach with combing and stuff that Heart provides? Do you want a rapier to help like play with a neutral game and instead of trying to win through like air dashing and stuff, win like at homing, win through like good placements on like projectiles and like aerial buttons? There's a lot of options to be had, uh, as well as a connection lost. As well as BB tag working as intended, like always. PC tag, PC tag, PC tag. Or uh, Fulcondo is uh, having a, a PC meltdown. This has also happened last time. Or no, it's not Wakando, it's Chi. Yeah, no, it's Chi. 
So this is that is great. Anyway, uh, I was I was gonna say that yeah, like it's really you know it's actually this case you gotta watch out for the Yuzu because the Hakuman is more or less there for the big damage, you know. Hmm. I mean, he also got a lot of stuff on his own, but usually he'll be running Yuzu in the in the neutral. So yeah, it's definitely been the case where like Hakuman has definitely been like good assist for Yuzu to kind of get things started, and then like has just been a means of getting Yuzu to deal a ton of damage and be able to convert off of uh, things like her we're finishing up the slashes and the like. Brown start DP. Oh my goodness. Clash He's clashing with the Yuzu. Oh my god. Yeah, actually the clash made the combo drop so really yeah. good awareness from Zag C. Oh, and now the projectiles are coming out. He doesn't want to approach the user, but otherwise the user will approach you, so... There's only much you can do in this case. Okay, scenario. Uh-oh. Oh, oh and it's safe. safe <laughs> Absolutely, alright. Now I'm gonna be able to get something started here. Just a little bit of pressure, some mids. Gets the 4P. DP what? right in his face, that was... I don't know if that was intentional. Uh, I don't know about that. That was a bit jank. Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is going to be able to catch it out now. It's a super already? What? Yeah, just wanted to keep it burst safe and maybe... I'm not sure if it was going to kill, but at least wanted to make sure, like, the Yuzu would be unhealthy to take point again. Now back on the point. Like, that's what we're, like, just saying, is that any sort of stray oh, hits will cause the character to die. Right, oh, nice counter! Land cancel, oh. give me two. And you forget the, uh, that why is that sometimes, and it's making a difference here. Got him in the sandwich now, 4P! Will this be enough? No, it will not. Oh, the assist made the combo <laughs> a little janky, a double Subaki for his troubles, and now... Zach C just playing oh, EX God, no neutral way. with the happy birthday kill combo? Oh my God, oh, he did not do that. Corpse combos coming in clutch for Zexy. Played a little bit of EX neutral, found the opening, and managed to come out on top. He, he used all the meter. He used everything. He was like, I have meter, let me use it. Exactly. I'm doing this. I'm doing this comeback right now. That looked like it was cheese game, but out of nowhere, Zach just popped all the meter and killed both of them in one goal. That was insane. Yeah, very, very good stuff from, uh... He was just from... pressing that multiple times. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, like, EX Neutral was, like, actually, like, the EX Counter Rush, EX Counter Rush into EX Kick, which caught him low. It's... It's, it's weird, Zach, you know, it looked like he was screwing around back there, but I, I think that was, you know, his plan, <laughs> somehow. I feel like he, he planned uh, for, for TA to think that he was just massing and then, you know, have him, I guess, drop his guard in some way. Now trying to find something here. Zexy off, like, off oh. the start took a lot of unrecoverable life, but now she taking some as well. Gonna be able to get the knockdown here with the Hakuin. The overhead does come out. The DP baited. That's one of Weiss's weaknesses, is that DP is a little stanky. Oh, wait a minute! No, don't punish him, I think. Yeah, unfortunately, don't punish that. It can be a little awkward to punish at times. Oh, but there now, we go. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Gonna be able to get the, the full combo around here. Able to get, set up uh -oh. Weiss. But no, because... but the Weiss was on low health. That was a bad move. Yeah, unfortunately, the parry actually allowed for, for him to realize, hey, actually, the Weiss is here. Let me just call the assist, get the punish on it. It gets something started, so... Oh my god, J.A. A war crime of a button. Gonna be able to work in favor of Chi. Some pressure, oh, some DPs. DP Acto Switch. Goes for the overhead, able to get the pickup from the user Reha. Gonna be able to just... To, Get the easy combo here, get the 2C into the super. If one isn't enough, you got the second one on deck. Exactly, and Zach proven once again why he's, well, one of EU's best. That's for sure. Absolutely.
really, really good, like, just good play from Zach C there. Yeah, I mean, Zach, he's great. I mean, he's had trouble against some teams this tourney already, especially against uh, Wakanda, but here he's, you know, right back into his zone, G -A or G unable to really, you know, get a proper counter for this, and well... Then he's just gonna go ham without without you know anybody being able to put on the brakes. Yeah, it's just been really working out, all things considered. Wait, the color switch? Wait a minute. That's oh my god. Yeah, the power <laughs> of the matching colors. <laughs> Wait, well what colors are those? I've never actually seen those I have, colors. I have no way. clue. Um, what are those colors? Hold on. What is this? I cannot I'm... tell you. My, my default is just to say Hansen Miku because of the blue hair, but we'll yeah. we'll figure out. All right. Okay. okay. Going to be able to get something started here. A little bit of some Oki oh. and to parry for troubles. A throw for your troubles and going to be able to get back to the corner. No assist to punish the burst, unfortunately. Okay. Right. Nice. I mean, that doesn't really come out anything, of course, but yeah, still getting hit. Oh, the DP! Nice Not use the here. slash. Saving the Hakuma in the process. And another cross combo for a cross combo. Uh -oh. Happy birthday to Zag C! Alright, yeah, just gonna kill the Weiss, and now, I mean, four bars, level four residents for the Ruby. Could be pretty good scenario. Oh, here we go! One on one, both my yeah. level four residents. I'm fe I'm feeling a little astral right here. Hold on. It very well could be. Oh, <laughs> nice side swap. And and that's off she wrote. That's she will be coming out with the astral finish. Let's go. First astral of the tournament. Very nice. Very I really nice. really like that run under. Like the yeah. run under to fake out the cross up, then run back under to. To go back to the same side and just like that able to come out on top i mean that was also very great but i'm telling you man the color switch it makes the difference <laughs> i didn't see that sort of mix up uh before the color switch is all i'm saying <laughs> oh my god no i i don't know why he's changed color but apparently it's working out like these little things man you gotta you gotta keep yeah. in mind the little motivators man <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like sometimes it's, it's it, it is just the little things that can actually make a difference. But how it works? How, like does it work? Like psych? Like uh, how do I say that? Like is it like a mind game? It could be. Because you know different colors. You know you re you react different to them. So is he like trying to you know make make you know Zaxxy play differently by messing with his head by choosing different colors? You know. It color theory? Be, it could be some color theory stuff. It could also just be like, like she's just more color, like, you know, labs all these colors or plays on them typically. So now just going back to the, going back home. Oh, trying to actually go play around <gasps> oh! the burst. Oh, and just, wow, the whiff. And now G able to get that nice 8K. Oh, good mix scenario, but good defense from Sexy. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, how come we will get caught out, but not for much damage. Oh my goodness! Nice pick up. Oh, nice! No, it's not even a of that. Uh oh. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a wow. minute! Wow! Weiss coming in with the save, actually. No and way! to get the, the funny confirm from this. And double glyph set up? Oh, yep. wasn't able to. Get, Double get, low. Uh, it doesn't have the meter to finish him off, but can't do it with that. <gasps> Plus frames gets the throw. Doesn't matter now, though. I mean, oh, double for four again. You think you mean you, you think she might be looking for the astral once more? Oh wait oh. a minute! No, I don't think that's enough. Uh, don't think yeah, it's not gonna be enough. Can. Oh, but wait yeah. a minute! It doesn't matter. Gotta go for oh, the Hakuman is a healthy boy. EX yeah. neutral, oh, not oh. paying off for Zach C. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Gonna be able to get the punish there this time. Again. No way. I can't believe he's making the run back. This is insane. This is crazy.
crazy. How is he doing it? The colors, they're giving him energy. That's what I'm saying, dude. The colors are working out. The power of this like DLC Hatsune Miku style color. Oh my god. Yo, Clover Rush is actually going in depth with color theory mind games. This, yeah, this is a legit strat, ladies and gentlemen. You can't you can't deny it now. Like if Chi actually picks up the W here, you can't deny color theory as a genuine way to mix people up. <laughs> like this this is this is true this the yeah. People have to start no noticing this now. Oh my god, look at that! That was insane. That wouldn't have worked if he was running different colors, I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's just the color power up. Yes! It's the DLC colors. Alright, gonna be able to get something started. Paint to win, here. brother! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the parry actually. Oh, oh whoa, 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 that was. Saw the parry connected, said, I'm gonna try to punish it with the super, but a little too fast. Or I actually may have been to save. I'm not sure what the hitbox on that parry would have been like, but if it was two bars to save the character, that still is worth it, though. And now just no? a stare down. Who's yeah. willing to make the first move? She was, but in this case, that actually doesn't seem to be working out for him. Nice 4P again. He's really, uh, really good at those. Really 4Ps. Oh, that poke into nothing! Oh my god. Oh, uh, try to keep it burst safe, but yeah, Weiss's incoming is just so, like, horizontal that it makes it really awkward unless the character is directly, like, behind you to keep it burst safe with an active switch. But now, the 5P does connect, save the scenario, all things considered. Geon, pretty low life, able to maybe tie it up in terms of the life totals. Actually, yeah, gonna be able to get the super, and now, takes a little bit of the life lead here. No! Air DP blocked. Just down to the Hakuman. No way! Is he actually about to? Oh, wait a minute! Caught with the super. And now it doesn't really have that much bar to work with, but oh, might be able to make something work here off of any straight hit. Alright, well, Chi finding the straight hit here and now able to waste all the remainder of this residence timer. Not gonna be able to get. All those bars used, gonna be able to get the damage from this, not gonna kill, however, but the Black Seal is in that corner. Oh, oh. it's gone! Oh, it's gone. Guard. Another stray hit! Oh, with the DP! The... Oh, no way! Liar. And Zaxi bet the barn twice on two interactions, and then he was like, oh, we're betting! I'm all in! It's just gonna go with the DP and it works out for Chi to come out on top. Color Fairy is no joke. <laughs> that was all the color fairy is no joke. We have all been put on notice. The, the, color, the, the, color, meta, uh, the, the color meta is a genuine threat. Oh my good god. Chi has, uh, Chi has <laughs> showed us that you cannot, <laughs> you can, oh my god, you cannot underestimate the color switch. Yeah, Who no, cares absolutely. about character switch? The, the color switch. <laughs> the oh color god. switch is more important at times. Yes. The oh difference between a matchup could just be how how green is your character, really. <laughs> <laughs> how how did he actually bring this back? That was such a great match, though. Yeah, very very well played from Chi. Uh, like. At the end of it all. Oh my god. I, I feel like uh, Zaxxy was getting a little too comfortable with his usual playstyle and got punished for Chi just, or Chi just kind of adapting over time. Because you saw, you know, Chi kind of like mixed up his game. Like, like w once the colors switch, he kind of played differently. Because he, <laughs> he knew that uh, now that, you know, with the different colors, like, Zach would also make a couple mistakes here and there that he usually would. Mm. Or is is that actually what was going through his mind? I'm I'm not sure. It, honestly, there's, there's honestly, a lot of layers that could have been happening. In all honesty, wait, we we should ask the man why. <laughs> why did you call her switch? Is it actually meta, or was it for <laughs> shit like giggles? Like what? What is the meta Weiss palette? <laughs> yeah. Oh but God. now it's going to be Chi versus Wakando. And oh. I mean, granted, Weiss 
Like, uh, Weiss versus Azrael, not really the greatest, but the Ruby as well. Like, in the same vein, though, Azrael has that benefit with a lot of these, uh, in these matchups where once you have, uh, that hit, like, even regardless of how bad the matchup is, once you get the hit, you know, just kill the opponent sometimes. So, we'll see how that gonna play out. Also, the Yumi to help with the neutral as well, so, like, really navigate between things. So, it's honestly just pretty well against these characters. So, we'll see how it works at the end of the day. But also, once again, I'm gonna get in that black screen. Again, we are tag. having technical difficulties here. We will require further patience. BB tag, BB tag, PC tag. sorted out. <laughs> this always happens. Like looking back at that match just now, it's it's sad to see Sack uh, lose out there, but then again, Chi just from out of nowhere. You, you, you never you never saw it coming. No, absolutely. Like that definitely just really worked out in his favor. But we'll see if he can carry that momentum. You know, Chi's got to be feeling good after defeating Zack, so we'll see if that's gonna carry into Wakanda or if it will be the end of the road for Chi. Oh, I think he's I think he's going for finals now. He wants that rematch. With Tomoe, I can feel it. But will Wakanda allow it? That's the that's the true question here. Exactly. I mean, did Tomoe Tomoe knock both these? Yeah, Tomoe did knock both these players yeah. out. So yeah, this is to really see who's gonna get the run back. Nice use of the five B active switch, able to get the full full combo. Now good jump out, recognizing that that is, the six P was not gonna be a true meaty. Get the 6P into position, but no CC. Alright, and I mean, this is just standard. A nice pickup with that 5P, though. Able to get straight into it. You gotta have the like, play around that first. The 6P does activate it, and the Super does come out to punish the Weiss. Weiss is low, Ruby's full health. Should be looking for a point to act to switch here, because. Any sort of hit like this will cause Weiss to die. This is not great. Solo Ruby coming in, but it's a level four residence. One kill on one of these characters. And then potentially another Astral, yeah. yeah. That's that's I guess what he's gonna be looking for now, but I feel like Wakando is keeping it pretty safe, keeping the character with more health out there. But perhaps over time Chi can or Chi can whittle both from down and then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, definitely. The Azrael is already pretty low at this point. Try to find an opening. Oh, nice use of the 5A. That's what I'm talking about. Gonna be able to get just this nice, like, 8K damage and get uh, able to do side swap Oki. And yeah, I'll also just go for the, the tech out. He's using the the delay tech there and being able to, to avoid the situation entirely. Well, on one hand, I, the, the reset is funny and everything, and it's, like, useful to have at times. It's not something that should be relied on because of the... It's good. It is good in moderation, but if you over rely on it and then your opponent knows how to deal with it, it uh, it's real stinky. Yeah, you, you gotta, you know, you gotta hate to see it, like, <laughs> Ricardo just waiting out the residence there, honestly. Not wanting yeah. that nine, you know, that nine level, uh, nine meter to hit him, you know. Makes sense. Yeah, because right? again, if the if you are, don't position it properly, they tech forward. You uh, are whipping DP. Like right. the reward, the risk versus reward <gasps> is not Wait in my minute. opinion not above what we're used to seeing. But right now, we're seeing Chi able to get something started here. Oh, oh unfortunately, what he the it. two C drops, and now Kondo has the bar on deck. No astral though. No astral, oh. but an ex. What what is an astral to an ex icebird? Fair. I just want to see the Astral, man. <laughs> uh, I feel like is kind of counting on it now. Like, after he got that one against Zack, he's like, all right, yeah, this... Like, honestly, on Ruby, getting an Astral is pretty easy. Like, compared oh, yeah. to every other character. Yeah, no, definitely, you just... Like you just do you do your normal combo and then you just at yeah, some point you just, go you just, for just, buzzsaw. No, you just do buzzsaw into Astral and boom, that's it. Yeah, I mean, like, but the time if you have like a double jump into Buzzsaw, you have like actually like two, you get like two bars or something during the process. Yeah. Like, it's fun. So simple. Right? Perhaps that's not what he what he should be doing in this case. Because sometimes, you know, Wakando just won't let you. 
I would try to go straight into Aerial Rave, try to get like some sort of thing going with like a CC potentially, but she not having it. Gonna be able to get the full knockdown here. Get some pressure with the Ruby. Probably looking to push block at some point or just try to block it all out, but the empty low will open you oh, up nice. the first. Baited. Long have we waited. The jump cancels. Out here. You know, I'm surprised he didn't go in with the regular colors again. I mean, you think you'd be switching it up, but I think he's just feeling confident with these colors now, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real thing. Like, of course, I, I'd want to analyze that. Right now, I mean, at this point, like the Azrael's low health, the push block against uh, the 6P is not going to really work out. Fighting opportunity just to get Yumi back in there. And now oh Ice Shard deploy, oh Ice Shard, God. Ice Shard deploy, Ice Shard. <laughs> Bullet hell. Yeah, this is actually this is the Toho fighter you, we've been waiting for. Finds the super. Not gonna be a ton of damage. That is one of the downsides of Weiss, is that her average damage is not that great. Plus frames from that bait. The character, oh, it's not optimized though. It probably isn't a dead character now. Uh, maybe, if you build the four bars. Yeah, Oh yeah, you build is. the four bars. Yeah, you're super dead. But you do have to spend all of it though. Which, I mean, you, you'll you spend it. You want, like, you're cool with it, but also like, oh. Wait, Jeez. wait, I don't know if that was actually the right option here. No, you have to kill, you have to kill Weiss here. Like, you, it, it's so much better just to fight a solo Ruby, even right. in this sort of scenario. Oh, but you get hit by a mid, and then you die. No. The colors, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> the colors. These haven't been the same for Chi since he swapped to these colors. Yes, yes. But then again, he's also like simultaneously switching his game plan. It's he's thinking outside the box, and I like seeing that. Oh, absolutely. Going back you into never, it. You never see you never see that anywhere else. Kondo sticking with the Azrael Yumi. Just I'm pretty sure he's just gonna be running this entire bracket with the Azrael Yumi. Yeah. I think I think he's also got the the Azrael heart, right? Yeah, but he's he hasn't played at this break. I think he's just gonna be because I know he's been looking more at this team, so I think he's trying to like get more experience with it just to see what the what all the hubbub is about. Keep it simple, just gonna keep it with like do the super here, do an easy 10k, parry, use the fireball just to keep him out. Very good stuff. Nice button. Just able to really like, real slobber docker right now, but just overall Wakanda like coming out with the overall health lead, really tagging oh. each character one at a time, and now here we go. Another combo. It's gonna hurt. Or oh, it's not opting to go for the reset instead. Yeah, what is the burst bait? Oh wait a minute! Nice counter, but yeah, now he's gonna have to put the Weiss on the bench for a little bit. You have to watch out too, otherwise on low health, but Ruby's gonna be low health too now. Oh god. And suddenly coach is calling, saying there's no no time for the bench. It is oh, a first safe route though. That was safe! Oh my goodness. The bad burst somehow, it's... Suck. And now he's gonna have to pop the resonance early. He probably won't be able to kill off one of these two in this amount of time. DP does not get blocked, and that will be all she wrote, I think. Oh, not quite. Yeah, it's just a little awkward and because of the jump to get the full confirm from those 6P, but... Oh, the cracks. The cracks. Yeah, you can just see where the oh. 6Ps have really worked out. The DP, the bard was bet, but the cows are coming home for Wakando instead. We need more... We need... We need more vibrant colors. <laughs> what's the color switch to come when you're down? <laughs> what's what's you're... the switch this time, man? We oh no, he's not switching. No anymore. switch. Said no these switch. colors let me. These colors allow me to to pull ahead. They swapping off of them now is probably just an emergency uh, emergency break. You know, you kill all your momentum. Fair enough. Fair enough. Last time we saw she switch up to the heart, but that was only because of the builder. So it's not going to happen here. Hmm. 
Wakanda was still waiting, perhaps perhaps talking with him backstage just like he did to Tomoe, telling them, hey man, you need that switch, I'm telling you. <laughs> so is, is, is Chi gonna listen? I don't think he is. I think he's very adamant about this team. He will not make the switch, no he will not. No color switch, no nothing. Yeah, just sticking with it, and now, Kondo on set point here. We'll see how that's gonna work out against the the Ruby Weiss. Really, it's just been down like Wakanda. He did the color switch, turning the strategy against the master. We see. <laughs> oh, but it's, it's not gonna work out. Either. Yeah, the DP first. This is really goofy. I've also never seen this Yumi color. Is this also DLC? Uh, I actually not sure. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, but able to get something started here. Gonna be able to put them towards the corner. The 6P oh, will be able to. <laughs> <laughs> what, right. what color of <laughs> Azrael is this? I wanna know that. Hold on, switch him out. See oh, it's, yeah, colors. It's, it's, it's a good one. It's the like, 6P like a blue. Will I think it's out. just regular blue. Yeah, it's like color 3, I'm pretty sure. Alright, but able to get something started here. Try to get enough uh, gauge to start a. Uh, a situation here with the overhead. This is gonna be a swift round. Act oh my swift. god. Or not Actus was cross rated. Yeah, just like that. With a very <laughs> swift round. <laughs> the color switch. <laughs> Turning the colors against T. That's how Wakondo does it. We'll be moving on to the grand finals, which is gonna be Toy vs. Wakondo. Wakondo will have to win six games. Uh, in order to come out on top versus Tomoe, which is doable, definitely is possible for Rokondo, but this is going to be a uphill battle to save them. All right, right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Clubbing Rush just typed a whole essay into the chat. Hold on, what is this? Oh, that is 200 words. <laughs> Should I try to read it out? <laughs> I, I, I'm going to... I'm going to avoid that. That is too many words for for not enough, Uh, you know. I, we got to we got Yumi mirrors to watch. Fair enough. Oh. Um, well, let's see. So, I mean, granted, probably going to be staying with the same teams like we saw last time. I don't think he's going to swap. He might swap to the heart. Might uh, not. Yeah, th this is probably the one time where he should. Then again, last time was really close. I, I feel like he can stay this team for the entire tournament. Yeah, it definitely could work out. I actually opting to swap put the Azrael on point. Usually, this is one of the teams where Azrael is going to be more comfortable at like the the secondary position, just as that assist. But I guess Orie, we'll see how it's going to work out. If you're, yeah, actually, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. If you're just going to go for a passive start, anyways, so I guess they go a nice active switch to avoid the TK Growler situation. Dash through to get the corner. Now the Oki is gonna look goofy. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit too many hits, like too much lockdown. Gonna get that started. The DP going both ways, working out for Yumi this time around. Growler comes forward just to give him a little bit of pressure. Oh, nice confirm from Tomoe. Oh. That was great. Uh, that was. Oh wait, it doesn't... also great. Yeah, it actually worked out in his favor. A couple of fireballs, a couple of Asriels. Oh, that clash no way. And this you is a dead Orie. Oh, actually didn't opt for the going for the Azrael there. TK Growler that is reacting. <laughs> nice block on the teleport. Throw is getting whiffed. Another one. Another one. DJ Another. Khaled. Oh wait a minute! Oh happy birthday! It's impossible to drop these. And now able to go for the super. That is, uh, Yumi is bleeding on Wakondo's side. Oh, 5A grab. Try oh, to bait no, no. out a DP, but no oh, dice. God. And now just down to the Yumi mirror here to close, like to potentially close things out for this first game. A run back from Tomoe here and we'll get that hit. That's all she wrote. Yeah, oh try to mash, but two C like head into the two C on Tomoe side just to really like keep that pressure going. Oh, you'd be thinking Tomoe is looking at that that Hilda Orie, but the Yumi Orie actually perhaps even better. 
Perhaps Wakando a... was not right to ask for that switch. Perhaps he should have just taken the what Hilda. he had on his plate instead of telling him, no, 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 I don't want this. I mean, you can also see, like, the Wakanda's definitely been experimenting with this team a little more. You can see some of the experience. Like, he's had a lot of cool showings oh. with, like, what the team Wait can a do. Minute. The bringing out the... Oh, the heart, Yubi, says, no, Asriel, this matchups are dog water. Let me get right in there with the heart. No, I agree with this. Really? I, I thought I think that the the Asriel heart would be the way to go, but it could be. But like the the support side of this, like overall, if you pick, if you give me these three characters, I'd probably just go with this team over the uh, at heart Asriel or heart Yui, just because like the way the support and the floatiness of this team is like super good. Like the six P from heart to just really contest both the grounds. Like they have a lot of cool synergies. You I gotta cover a lot of really strong angles. Okay. Trying to get a hit here from full range with the Yumi. I mean that's the that's the benefit of running Yumi. You can be anywhere on the screen and still be a threat. Yeah, she's like one of the fastest in the game. It's really good for a lot of uh, these scenarios. The DP does come out, but will lead to ah. a dead. Yeah, no, I actually won't be able to kill even with the additional bar. But like the throw, that. yeah. It's a, oh, it's a strong situation to... Oh, but the DP yeah. is faded. Yeah, you no. can see the DP's coming out. This is not looking good for Lacano. This is He's throwing it all. Nice and parry again, just to neutralize the situation. Yeah, it's it's looking quite bad. I think, he, I think he's kind of giving up here. This is Kind of sad, actually. Oh, it wait, is. a drop! Combo dropped, hold on! Yeah, this is definitely an opportunity for Wakando. It's just really tough to really get something started. Oh. Great awareness from Tomoe. The situation wouldn't allow for a two-way to come out. So if you up back, you're gonna be fine. Like, you're gonna be out of the situation. If they go for the JC, then you're gonna block the first hit, second hit whips, you get a free punish, and that's gonna be a game. So now... Just like that, Tumbleway's got somewhere to be. He's trying to hurry this thing up. He is on tournament point. He's on match point. He's on game point. He's he's everywhere. We might he's see got... a swap back to the Azrael just for... Yeah. Like, Azrael's been doing a lot of work yeah, for him. Honestly, so... he needs the Azrael, I think. I think this team is not quite what he wants. But then again, it's all up to him. I can't really change, you know... Yeah. Change his judgment here. I think that the... He's... He's still thinking. I mean, Tomoe has. Oh, he's going back, perhaps? Oh, I can see that? it. I mean, it definitely, like, at this point, you're either going to the Azrael Heart or the Azrael Yubi. You've played Azrael Yubi for the past, like, two and yeah. some hours, so, like, might yeah, as well just stick with it, but it's sure, a. But, I mean, rough. is this is this really. You know, he already switched out. I mean. <laughs> yeah, he. it definitely is, like, He's it, it was definitely like, oh my heart isn't really like like warm right now, right? So I might if yeah. I'm gonna be sticking with it, I might as well stick with it with the team that I've been get, I got here with type right. of mentality. I mean it's also like he's been working on the team, so you can see like the first game that we had in this set at least, you could see where some of the inexperience lied, but late. But like just right now, like Tomoy is just playing really hot. Oh, oh, that didn't combo. actually. Yeah, it did it. The the because the scenario just didn't really work out for him. Caught, yeah, gets caught. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no no. Now this is down to solo as real possible, oh, yeah. but like you're you know David versus Goliath, and like there's there you're in a desert. There's no stones to be had. Oh, yeah, no. actually, yeah, oh. dude, that's super dead. And just like that. Tumbleway with the swift 3-0 in the Grand Finals will be taking it over Wakanda. So, congratulations on winning the, uh, the Awakening Chaos Cross Regional Monthly. I can't believe he won it with Yumi Orie instead of the Hilda Orie. But then again, this perhaps might actually be the better team. Like, I'm, I'm surprised that, uh, you know, Tumbleway took that, took that bet from... Uh, uh, Wakando and actually switched up the team here and that it actually worked out yeah I mean it is a really good team and just overall like at the end of the day just really worked out for him but uh 
Yeah, so first place goes to Toei with that Orie Yubi, second place to Wakado for primarily playing that, that Azrael Yubi, and then third place going to Chi with the color swap main on that <laughs> Ruby Wise. And I do believe that is a... Uh, that will do it. Yeah, uh, it's time to read out some of the results. Uh, you got the results up right now? Yeah, we got the, like mentioned, Toy Wakado Chi right there. Zaxi coming with that fourth with the Yuzuriha Hakuman tied for fifth. We have Cinnamon Spice with the Chie Yubi as well as uh, Tyria with just a whole entourage of characters. And then last but not least of this top eight was for some place clobbering. Yeah, clobbering Rush and uh, Froxy Luis, which we saw Froxy on stream clobbering. Did not unfortunately make it to stream, but fantastic showing by everybody this evening, uh, afternoon. I'm not sure what time it is in the EU, but uh, I know it's like 4 p.m. over here. Yep. But uh, you usually be like, all right, all right, usually after like the tour, the, uh, we, we like read out every single one of them, like one by one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to do that. <laughs> I'm not but used again, to... it would be it would be uh, you know respectful, I think. Yeah. So, would you like me to to start? I, I feel like you should you could do like uh, uh, all the NA guys, and I do all the EU guys. I think that works out. If uh, that's what I would do, because I I don't think I'll be able to give a good like uh, you know. A recap on some of those guys. Well, I guess if we're starting from the top, like Toei, just I mean overall. Oh no, no, we're, we're, we usually start from the bottom, actually. Oh, okay, for from seventh up or from like yeah, everyone. Yeah. Okay, so if we're going for that, then Froxy like played really well, all things considered. I don't, uh, they're like they play on and off, so we'll see how like overall it worked out. But like they had a lot of the stuff to like get in their the the foot in the door, but then just. Like when it came to like crossing that like finish line, whatever you got to like the the tougher players like Toboy, like uh yeah it was uh which one? yeah it was Toboy and then uh Tyria like just had like a lot of the stuff to get going, but then like needed that extra push. So as time progresses and the more they play, they'll they'll get there. So great to see them coming out and uh, great to see it. But I do believe Clawberry Rush is EU, right? Yes, yes, he is EU. In fact, he has been playing a lot casually. He has been playing the Fatista Carmine, which we sadly did not get to see. Uh, and yeah, about Clawberry Rush, he's been playing a lot, like I just said. But uh, well, he still has a lot to learn. I think he was up against uh, Zaxi C in round one, and in, against him and Spice in round or loses round two. Uh, or round two and lose round two, and he sadly was unable to get a victory there. Which is kind of sad, but then again, like these kinds of things uh, are there to make you better. Like it doesn't matter if you get a get a loss sometimes around. Like same with Flora and Storm, you just gotta do the homework sometimes, and yeah, get better from there. Absolutely, and uh, I don't recall. I don't know what region Tyria is. Oh, he's also NA, if I'm correct. Gotcha. Then in that case, for Tyria, a lot of the things like. Tier played a, like generally well in a lot of the regard. It's just the case where like it's hard to like pinpoint exactly like what would go on because there was like four teams, five teams going on, to having some sort of correlation typically with the Kurogane, but not exactly. But like generally played it like pretty well. It just was the case of trying to figure like it was. I don't want to say like sticking with one team and like making that run, but it is easier in most cases to be able to find like whatever you stick to that one team, at least for whether it be like a tournament run or like just a period of time to like more pinpoint what is like going on in your like offense or things like that. Like I know for the Kurogane, like uh, Kurogane Kotsky team, like it just really wasn't able to get like the offense started and the assists got tagged a lot, which really just led to the downfall. But all in all, it just really, uh, just like overall was able to play it generally well, but End of the day, didn't really work out his favor, but I mean, hey, fifth is still a fantastic placement. Yeah, and, I uh, mean, Tyria did pretty well, I think. Yeah, like it overall played like played really well. It's just hard to to pinpoint exactly what could have happened. Fair enough. All right, then we go on to shared fifth uh, as well. Cinnamon Spice. Uh, 
in the first round, we did actually watch that match. Wakando against Sidney Spice. He did pretty well, I think. Wakando definitely is someone to watch out for. So getting a W there was already a really big achievement. Uh, then again, uh, he, he still has to... You know, he, he's kind of at that level. Uh, like, just below the top where you kind of need to uh, learn the mix. And, you know, be able to, to do some of the mix that other people just don't know. Like, have something special to your team, you know? Like, all these guys in, in top four, they all have something that really sets them apart from any regular player. who pick that team. And Simon Spice really needs that, I think, right now. Because... Because he's he's been here a lot. Like it's it's great to see him, you know, uh, still competing and still getting uh, well regularly or relatively high placements like this. But it's been like that for a very long time. So you know, perhaps one day we'll see him, you know, break that glass ceiling. But right now, it sadly did not. Hmm. Then moving on, we get Zach CC from the EU side of things. I mean, like right. Zach just played like really well, though, all things considered. He did. He did. Uh, you, you want me to do this one too? I mean, yeah, if, if you want to go ahead, yeah, if we're right. doing EU versus NA, then I got the next three lined up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, all right. So, so Zach CC, I've been watching a lot of him, or at least he's been on a lot of tournaments like these. So, I've been able to watch the Yuzu Hakupen a lot, and I've been very impressed most of the times. But I feel like it's come to a point where people are getting like aware of what he's doing, and you know, every time he goes out there slowly but surely the the opponent starts to know what's happening and then you know just like with she just like wakando they find a way to counter it and they take him down somehow this i feel like sexy c at some point has to play different characters or has to learn uh yeah yeah like sefi is saying in the chat people are getting really familiar with the the yuzu matchup right now like uh you know the the team is very good like the team he's running it's it's great it's fantastic but if he's not uh if he's gonna do the the same thing over and over again and expect it to keep on working then well yeah it's because it's it's really he really has some great mix-up but after a while people will know and they'll yeah. be able to punish it, so. it also came down like for like, both the matches that like really like brought him down it really just came down to like he would go into residence where he'd have like some sort of like end mat like end goal was like ex 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 whether it was ex slash ex slash ex slash uh in neutral just to like chip whether it be to chip down the life bar or anything but like it led to like him eating like a black hawk at once uh, just like losing momentum in a lot of these situations or like with the hawk win doing like the ex uh parry like the first couple of times it started working out but then later he whiffed and then he died so it's like a lot of commitment once you have that residence just to like explode it can really hurt at times and that was like like literally the the thing that made him lose against chi and then kind of like ended his run but, yeah i mean enough. like it was definitely just the case of like the clutch the the clutch was not like was a little loose so like well like tying that up with like the meter game and everything was probably like the the number one thing at least in regards to the, the showing today uh but for that, I mean, like, moving on to Chi with the the color swap from that that Ruby Weiss was definitely like the the play of the game. Just really found his <laughs> footing, like towards the towards the end of like the the bracket. Just had a lot of really good stuff going on between the team. Um, but like the biggest thing that came down to honestly was just like his kind of the similar thing with Tyree was that the assists kept getting clipped, and then so like. And the residual damage just kept adding up, so that way, whenever they got hit by, like, anything, they would just die. Uh, and so it was just that the, like, protecting the assists a little more, or, like, using the assists in ways that aren't going to get, uh, like, just get rolled. It was also a lot of the case of, like, it really felt like the Anchor Yumi was definitely the, uh, the reliance, rather than, like, the it, it felt more like oh i'm going to have to kill like i'm gonna keep weiss in whatever i should probably swap out so that way i could have the residence ruby which was should come naturally in a lot of ways so like, it felt a little more forced but i mean granted that being said still played the both characters incredibly well a lot of the interesting team stuff happened as well and uh, I wish I could remember the Japanese player's name off-rip. That would be a good resource to watch. But 
They, uh, you could probably find it on the the uh, Keep on Blazing, like very very good play there to learn from. But overall, did really well. Same thing for Wakando. Wakando did fantastic, just really representing Azrael and that Yumi really well. But uh, the biggest things that really came down to him getting down to that second place. I mean, besides Tomoe just playing really well, um, in right. in that Grand Finals was just like. A lot of the, it was a mix of inexperience with the team, which obviously just comes over time whenever you're like playing the, the team more and everything, as well as just like general, some like confirms here and there could like be optimized more and could lead to like higher net damage, which granted, I, I'm not one to be like, oh, you need to optimize your combos a lot of the time, but with Asriel in particular, if optimizing the combos is the difference between like 2k damage and that 2k damage is really important in this game, Especially whenever considering Azrael in a lot of cases gonna get like one whatever combo into a mix up into a kill. Uh, or when the more whatever the combo gets, the worse it becomes. So just more of the optimization side of things and a more experience with the team. But overall, worked out very well for him. And Tomoe, like, legitimately played really well in grand finals and the winners' finals. Like, had just a really good placements a lot the, the time. The Hilda team had like a lot of. Like, had some holes that could, like, that will be filled as time progresses, but as a overall, like, bit, the general game plan worked, the general, like, the general, the general plan worked in a lot of the ways that he utilized the four, the gap in 4P to do, like, assist, then 2A, and then, uh, going for, like, those throws and everything just really, like, showed the experience with the team and really worked out. And in terms of, uh, but in overall, I came out on top. You have to tell me where to optimize in terms of combos. Uh, I mean, it's just going to be, generally speaking, try to go into your Valiant as soon as possible. And uh, try to try to go into Valiant as soon as possible and try to get into scenarios that are going to be, like, Yumi-specific side. Like, not just saying milk more damage on the Yumi side, but, like, for example, if you have Yumi, one of the things that uh, I noticed that could have been the difference in a game or not was literally whatever there was one point you did aerial rave and then called as well didn't call as real you had two bars uh because you didn't want them to burst your route so but what you can't do in that scenario is you can do aerial rave call 6p it puts it as real in a spot below it below yumi to where he, you're gonna land you could act to switch into as real and super from there and it's a it's a very good way for yumi teams to have a burst safe route from the uh, aerial rave that leads to a super even at the cost of one of your assist gauges. Uh, very, it's it's weird, it's niche and you don't see a ton of teams doing it all that often, but like, it's very good. But, and uh, besides that, it's just general, like, hard to say exactly like optimization wise but like it's trying to find as many as few buttons as possible to get to valiant whether it be from like a random air confirm and so on and it's all right to spend that bar especially with you because you generate so much bar but yeah with that all that being said fantastic play for all the players uh and do make sure to sign up for next month i'm not sure what the timing is or anything but you'll obviously find that the discord if you check that out which is going to be in the chat as well as all this and that and uh as always yeah thanks for tuning in and uh catch you out ramp uh apparently we'll be back in march i feel like we should do these ones more often but uh all right you know i uh, I, I love doing these you know these cross regionals they they bring in a lot of players and that's just great to see Yeah, it was fun. I guess that's all we got for you today. And we'll see you all next time. Or, well, there's going to be another regular ET EU ATC next week. So do stay tuned for that as well. All right, you, you want to do your outro? Oh, yeah, I'm just... Uh, thanks for, for having me on. It was a fun to see all the, the players come out. Very fun to watch Wanda play for usual and like I mean because I mean I'm just love me some Asriel, but yeah, very good stuff. Uh, and excited to watch some more BB tag.
Yeah, th thanks, Bojack. Thanks for being here, man. It was great. No, it's fun. I'm always down to comedy to BB Tag as long as my schedule works out, but my schedule as of late has been hectic, so I'm glad I was able to, to come out. And uh, But thanks as well, uh, Shayoshi, yeah, for coming out. It was fun uh, commentating with you. Yeah, no problem. All right, well, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.